uh, recap last session for inspiration off to a screaming start. Nailed it. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can. We um, <clears throat> unless anybody else wants to do if they need the inspiration. Cool. So Vakar's got to do his teleport for the first time ever, um, and uh, gaining the pride of two of our party members yep. <laughs> reading a liability waiver. So proud. Um, once there, um, we uh, were able to complete the mission entirely, get a shit ton of money. Um, um, one of us learned that when we don't pay taxes, we don't get to uh, share in the bounties. <laughs> um, but the rest of us went shopping. Um, and then uh, set out to sail um, to take on the Sea Prince um, and on our way uh, massacred some ghosts who meant us no harm. <laughs> sure they didn't. <laughs> uh, they were asked if you were nice and friendly, continue to wave your arms, and they did as such. <laughs> <laughs> um, therefore, one can infer that they were peaceful. Um, didn't stop the cars, however. <laughs> he kept blasting. <laughs> um, and yeah, the last uh, thing that happened is we uh, saw a ship in our midst. Um, are we immediately going to initiative, or do we have like a smidgen of time? <laughs> you have <laughs> boats move stupid fast, and you are moving towards each other. Yeah, you have right. time, but uh... not not ten minutes. You have you have your ten minutes for your rituals that uh, you had talked about. Okay. Or or at least w at least one has been cast so far. Um, I, before rituals start, when we in, early in the morning finish breakfast, I would use the celestial radiance. Um, to ra radiant resilience, uh, to give everybody the temporary hit points, which. For all of you is everybody gets I have this feature. I swear to God, eleven temporary hit points, and I get eighteen, and that does include lucky. <laughs> I always add it. I always add it. <laughs> In includes lucky. Does not include Betty. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Does it, does it include Oryx? He's a good boy. It, it does not, but it does include Vestra. I did okay. consider not including Vestra and including Betty, but... <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. A higher on benefits. Yeah. Right. It, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, she is a member, I guess. Yeah. Um, following that, I would put up this and include Toby and Micah, because I can include up to eight. Uh, and that puts us at eight. So again, not Uryx. Uh, obviously <laughs> not Betty. I mean, he would qualify for the spell, though, I'm just saying. He would. She would. But Betty would not. Um, sorry, what are the temporary hit points again? Eleven. Eleven. Thank you. And I guess just to be safe. Water breathing on... I believe water uh, breathing has been cast at least three times. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Re Vestra cast it um, at the beginning of the day. Okay. Well, then I will not cast it just in case it gets dispelled on someone. Also, my hood is up. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, my spells. That because I don't want to kill us all. Oh, sorry. I'm also trying to fix my broken computer and trying to remember that password, uh, and that's not going so well. No worries. I 
don't remember. I'm going to have to think about it later. Oh, fucking God. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Dashwood, you ready to uh, kill your girlfriend's mom? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, more, I'm far more concerned uh, I'm replacing Synaptic Static in my spell lineup because I don't want to kill everyone on our boat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, why would you kill everyone on our boat? Uh, because I assume that they are going to rush our boat, which you know could be a bad assumption, but <laughs> uh okay. Is there any other mention of anything that needs to be done? Um uh I, I don't have like preparatory spell stuff because um, you know it's not not my jam. Um but um, I, uh, I, I know I wanted Uryx down below, but um, I, I can't see, you know, we're not on the map, so I don't know, like, where his position oh, the boat is. Oh, shit. Haven't um, moved you guys back. Hold yeah, on. You're, you're fine. Um, I, I wanted him um, below the boat in case, like, you know, they, like, did fireball nonsense. But um, yes. I, I wanted him um, near, uh, and I can, I can move him. Um, is it, uh, this is the middle, is the middle layer? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this is so. This is the. This is still the main deck oh, that gotcha. he's on. Yeah, yeah. So reflected is the is the. the yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I wanted him like at the bottom of the stairs, ready to come up. That's that was his. Okay. Jam. Perfect. I well, also that's want exactly to it. make sure that it's clear to Toby and Micah that uh, we do have. A, a, an extra dimensional compartment on this boat. Uh, while I appreciate their fighting skills, if they need to run, they should go there because we don't want to lose the boat entirely. Uh -huh. am, I, am I not? Yeah, we, we do still have the extra dimensional smuggling area on this boat, right? It Yes, that we have that literally thing, never yes. used up until now. Okay. Yes, yes, that thing. Um, I was just trying to understand your your point there, but I think I'm with you. That's the fallback spot. Is the room that none of these other pirates can get into because they won't mm -hmm. know about it. Mm -hmm. The boat's destroyed. <laughs> Does that space go with it though? I, I, I'm more worried about like crew massacre, but you know, because we have no. like a bunch of non-combat <clears throat> crew members of the ship, right? Gunners. Uh, yes. Y yes. Well, the, the, like, combatants, just not uh, reflected on the map. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was just uh, our, our boys. Uh, no, no. They, 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 their two tokens do resemble, uh, a se do, uh, that is, that is manifesting as your whole entirety of your crew. You have, you have a manned vessel here. Um, this is just already going to be, uh, fucking horrible to look at token wise anyway. So I figured I'd clean it up by not letting you guys see your crew. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Tar targets, or t targets and tokens are one and the same, uh, does not necessarily reflect the actual, uh, population. Um, uh, last call. Uh, I just um, activated my crimson right. It's in chat. Excellent. Yeah. Ooh, um, uh, I'm, I'm assuming like we can like position ourselves right now because like I yes. think our tokens are where like they were when we were doing something else. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, then I would at the very least want to be next to someone. Thank you, Tyler, for working valiantly to save my computer. <laughs> I don't know that anything's saved yet. I know, but I appreciate it. Um, okay. Thanks, Tyler. We appreciate it, too. Well, if you guys actually are, I, I will move to uh, make myself in a more efficient manner to try to... Can I get... I can almost get everybody. Ah, uh, yes. Group together. Nice, yes. nice and tight. Yes, look, it's like a double-edged sword. <laughs> okay. Um, as you are preparing the vessel, uh, uh, Toby's <laughs> voice calling down from the crow's nest that there is something approaching on the horizon. Swiftly approaching are the deep, dark 
blue sails of the fleet of the sea princes. These are uh, vessels that are designed to move fast, and that appears to be it. These are not war machines per se, as they are primarily pirate vessels. Um, uh, there is very clearly some structure uh, in their own armada, as there are several ships that move in separate directions away uh, and part uh, from the fleet itself. Uh, these vessels are then matched by many of the others in the uh, the navy of Seton, of, of Keoland, uh, pulling themselves away as well to chase after uh, these other vessels. You see that there's a handy few. Um, the princes themselves each are captains of their own fleets, and there have been notes of several captains uh, several sea princes uh, who have all been involved in this excursion. So you do see that there are um, some 20 vessels, uh, which is an, an enormous amount of people and, uh, and, and uh, ship craft. And as some of these vessels begin to move apart... Um, something strange happens. Um, the water surges in such a way that some vessels move incredibly swiftly in one direction and, and others part and uh, move with a supernatural dexterity over the ocean. Um, uh, there is almost certainly in the case, like I, I mean, you all know Lucky's capable of uh, changing the direction of the tides. It's very possible that, that is indeed what is happening here. Um, but the surface of the water almost is stilled before some of these flagships become uh, come surging in your direction. The clouds above swirl in dark, heavy clouds, and thunder begins to roll. And one vessel that you see, something in the water moves up and over it. And you see small figures, um, aquatic creatures of some kind, clawing their way up the boat, uh, up the hull of the ship, and, uh, and boarding. And you hear immediately the sounds of battle as a... Uh, as a squadron of Lakatha surface and begin uh, mulching the people on one of these pirate vessels, uh, and you hear like ch uh, chanting and, and calling, and uh, and um, you hear uh, the soldiers, these Lakathan soldiers, uh, shouting the name of their uh, leader. Uh, Sakith, uh, in in yes. pride, <laughs> as, as one of these vessels is overtaken by um, some old allies of yours, um, uh, and with that we are going to roll into initiative as uh, Bernadette's flagship directs itself with such deliberate movement towards your own vessel. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Praise Kellenbor. All right, it's a nine. <laughs> At a twenty five initiative though, Vicaris gonna set the whole tone. Yeah. <laughs> What's Vicaris's bit? Vicaris's big day. I <laughs> <laughs> I have a dumb plan. <laughs> Love it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'd keep it. Okay, good. Oh, okay. I was waiting for Zashel's initiative. I didn't see it. 
Okay, so Vicaris is in fact first. Yeah, with Hooray. the tastiest initiative. Mm -hmm. Just just a reminder to everyone, we're on a boat with Lucky and she's currently conscious, so uh, remember. <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> yeah, until one shot goes in. How far... <laughs> How far down from the water is uh, the boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, like, what? If I were to... <laughs> uh, excuse me <laughs> from the water how high up am i oh 15 feet <laughs> 15 feet okay quick maths quick maths <laughs> <laughs> so if i were to uh, i don't think i have the movement for it that's fine um <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Cody. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is really stupid because I wasted a first turn on this, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell everyone to be safe. <laughs> Don't go out alone. Uh, cast mirror image of myself as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling your other selves to be safe? Uh, <laughs> and, then, um, uh, and then so don't go out alone and take care of each other and with that I will inspire Noel um, and also with that I will use my boots of flying to jump into the water <laughs> sure <laughs> takes 15 feet right <laughs> cool 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 Thank God we have that bond up, guys. Um, quick perception check to see if there's anything dangerous around me. <laughs> uh, Literally perception everything. Perception check is an action. I'm sorry? Oh, is it? A perception okay. check is an action. Uh, but check. I do have to check something to see whether or not you see this thing. So give me guess, one second. <laughs> I guess it's more like, am I surrounded by sharks right now? <laughs> and you um, have your hood up? So your I, manta ray hood up so you can swim because yeah. your boots of flying don't fly underwater. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no. That okay, was, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm being super mobile on any, uh, in, in any area. <laughs> is the plan. Um, you do see something. Oh God, I did not expect this to come up so quickly. <laughs> I thought I had at least a round for this. Um, you do see something in the water. Uh, something massive and almost entirely evading your uh your vision something moving one with the water and much bigger than any creature you have yet seen of its kind um uh but that's it well thank you for that i will fly right the fuck back up <laughs> <laughs> turn to them and say uh, do not go down there. <laughs> and um, on the side of the boat is where I'll end my turn. <laughs> okay. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. And now I gotta. Ah, fuck. I forgot I have to measure distance. I feel like I did measure this distance. Um, and then my brain melted. And so I've forgotten it. Oh, yeah. We're fine. Um, folks that are on the vessel on its approach, um, uh, the. Uh, the decoy, as it is called, the ship that is called the decoy. I don't know if I've ever shared that with you. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. Um, but Bernadette's uh, flagship, it, um, there are speakers who uh, begin chanting and uh, dancing across the deck uh, and calling out uh, to summon into the air above all of you uh and then descending in rapidity i'm casting a spell but i think everyone's too far away to counter um uh i, 
measure anything. None of my fucking. Hold on. My roll twenty is fucked again. Yeah, it's too far away. The yeah, boat is seventy five feet away from yeah, you. We're way beyond yeah. counter spell. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, the sails of your ship, uh, are singed and then begin to catch even heavy cloth as they are. Uh, some of the vessel itself immediately is also ignited as I cast Firestorm, uh, on the deck of your boat. Uh, that's fun. That's a fun one. <clears throat> and uh let's see uh i'm going to require each of you to make me a dexterity saving throw um is is vicaris's square affected by my aura no. it, it, it does cut into the square itself uh, it only does barely, but if he were up two squares, then he would be fully in your circle down where he is. He's in, uh, it's, it's less than like, it's like a quarter at best. So I'm going to say no. Uh, For the sake of it being a circle, not a square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me. <laughs> he's very dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to get my character sheet back up. You are fine. It would appear that Tyler's computer is running slower than mine usually does. So I'm confused. I assume this qualifies as a magic spell. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... Yop will use a flash of genius for herself. Okay. To make that an 18. Okay. You actually, uh, you have the plus five as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did that. Uh, Wait. Okay, well then, uh, it'll be a 23. I do yeah. not want to fail yeah. this save. I am oh. very sorry. A dog sat on my keyboard. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, it looks like the only one who failed, uh, was Betty. Mm -hmm. Um, so, that means... Each of you will take... Ah, boy. Uh, turn. There we go. Uh, total of... <coughs> um... My gosh, uh, 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 16 points of fire damage. Um, wow, my dice were not good. Um, and then uh, uh, Betty will take 32. Mm -hmm. Oof, yikes. What, was the DC like 16? I'm not going to tell you that. Okay, cool, because my roll is a 16. Um, so it was just oh, oh, actually. Oh, that means you also failed. Sorry. Okay. Uh, but you'll uh, you're uh, resistant, so it would still be the sixteen for you. Okay. All right, and then I have a hail of arrows coming your way from archers at the ready. Uh, it's five. Okay, first. Vicaris, I have 17 and a 24. Um, I believe both hit, but I got to do... Yep, both hit, but I got to do my thing. Okay. And my computer is going wonky ever since the dad, dog sat on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, both, we're both dealing with some shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, perhaps my computer is returned to the land of the living. Hold on one second. <laughs> Uh, I will continue my attack then. With uh, uh, next would be Vestra, uh, Nat twenty and a twelve. Um, the Nat twenty hits, of course, but is not a critical for damage reasons. Mm -hmm. um, the twelve will miss. 
Okay. That is five points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to use the gloves I spent money on. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I remember I you buying those last session. I was like, fuck, I did set archers, didn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah. When they were, everyone was talking about it, I was like, I, I guess this is like a not shit thing to do. Uh, okay. It's a user reaction. Uh, it's D10 plus Dex modifier, which is not great for me. My Dex modifier is one. Um, oh. It looks like it rolled correctly. Oh, cool. did you roll that? No, you did. Uh, oh, I didn't. I'm. I'm. I think I might have looked at the item in D&D Beyond and then it rolled it. Okay. Uh, I think is what what happened there. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. How does this even work? Uh. Reduce the damage by. So what is the damage on the one that hit? Five. Five. Okay, I catch it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just standing with an arrow in your hands. Uh, uh, I, I just, uh, yeah, just drop it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And then uh, 13 and 25 against Null. Yeah, catch one in the shield. Chuckle for a second and then get hit in the shoulder. <laughs> for <laughs> 11 piercing damage. <laughs> um, and then um, I've got Yop, a nat 20, and a 14. Uh, the nat 20 will certainly hit. I'll uh, send all a death store that one. My reaction. Sure, why not? It's only the first round of combat. That's five points of piercing damage to you, Yop. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Now it is Zashel's. Oh no. Uh, Ted, can you hear us? No, he's out of chat. Okay. Is your turn. Uh. And is asking how far the boat is from himself as he considers options. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, narrate <laughs> our text chat. <laughs> the very tip of the boat is 75 feet from him. Sean, the, oh, no, the golf voice narration is an excellent choice. I uh, commend it wholeheartedly. It appears he's Looks like he's prepared. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, throwing a curveball by casting Unseen Servant, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, no. In, in fact, he's not casting what is, Unseen Servant. No? What could he's, he possibly be saying? <laughs> no, he has unprepared Unseen oh, has Servant. Unprepared Unseen Servant. So he could learn a new spell today. It's a bold new strategy. We haven't seen that one since 76. I don't think I've seen him actually cast his Unseen Servant ever. Uh... I believe you did in the pit where Krellick almost died yeah. uh, in in an acid uh, puddle. Uh, well, it's a different person. <laughs> oh, he's doing a synaptic static. Okay. He is indeed synaptic staticking. Boom. Okay, excellent. Okay. Yeah, hit, trying to hit as many as he can. Okay, um, and I also think that my computer is working. Uh, okay, here we go. The radius on synaptic static. Uh, it's like a fireball. I, I don't know the distance on it though. I always gotta remember diameter to radius. It's twice. Yeah, it's twice. C correct. Yeah. It, it's to twenty foot radius. Yeah. Uh, I... Fireball. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Um, oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. Yes, um, it does. I would definitely recommend, uh, like saving files and stuff and just in case there's more problem God? Yeah. I mean I don't have anything on my computer that I care that much about everything's in a cloud um so from Zashel's token that's about as far as he can go in terms of casting synaptic static uh give me one second to get back on my own yep. map no yeah. problem yeah. you can get back yeah. into your own computer thank you so much I love you <sighs> okay. 
Yeah, so yeah, he can get he can get the middle of the boat. Yeah, he so can hit he the can... middle of the boat, so he can I do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I zoomed out on my map so I could see everything, and then hit the zoom out button way too many goddamn times. It's mm -hmm. a twenty foot radius. Is that right? That's correct. correct. Twenty foot radius. Okay. Then we're just gonna drop a circle because it's fully easier. Yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be your best spot. Actually. There we go. You know, it is very generous that, like, part of D&D &D is allowing precision of this nature when, um, I feel like in real combat, uh, you would not be able to pace out like <laughs> exactly right. 120 feet and exactly how many people would hit. Uh, yeah. It is a generous, generous move. Okay. You line up about right. You just aim for the middle of their boat and cross your fingers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's magic. <gasps> Welcome Hello? back in the game. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know if it's the monitor or my GPU is dying, but it's not coming back on. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I am having to open up all my character sheets back up onto my computer. Yeah, oh, right. guys. <laughs> I, I like i i'm so pissed off about how like excited about how like i was like oh my god i'm not gonna get to like no distractions i'm gonna really get to focus i've been like constructing this strategy now for like for days <laughs> uh the good news is is that so far of all the saves i've rolled uh uh, against synaptic static, nobody's rolled above a ten. That is mm. very good to hear. It's pretty good sign. Yeah, yeah, right up until my damage roll. Two, three. Yeah, well. And then you won't roll above a ten. <laughs> 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 okay, that's one uh, save. Now, both of you to assume I will even roll a two. No, this time it's the it's going to be the most synaptic -y static of all time. <laughs> That did that work? It did. <laughs> God damn it, Ted. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, 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 get two, five. You get. Oh, Bernadette the Crowell wheel. rolled a five. Remember the wheel and the big giant, the big giant wheel on the mountain, Ted? Do you remember? This is it, Ted. Oh boy. There's an angry face in the middle of a wheel yelling at me and insulting me for the next couple hours yep. because that seems right. Yeah, <sighs> that tracks. Okay, twenty-four points of damage. I'm Literally one creature all. saved. Well, mm. that is good. They do get uh -huh. the minus D six. Uh -huh. um, yeah, have fun with that DM. <laughs> I'm you know what? So if I could pain. take fireball, I would have just taken fireball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I am shaking. <laughs> from what specific? Just from the D6s? Uh, no, from my stress. From my oh, stress yeah. levels. It's been, it's been up and down. Yeah, everything is going very well, though. We're all having a great time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not going to think about the fact that only four turns have passed and we're an hour into session. I'm not going to think about it. it. Don't worry about it. Hey, I actually know what I want to do on my turn, so I'll be... Oh my... Go. Okay, actually, okay, never mind. My whole outlook has changed. We're in a, we're, we're starting fresh. This is bright, bright, fucking shiny new. This is excellent. And suddenly something happens. Um, There is... Uh, uh, if this is Above you, there is a storm that is forming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can anyone else use the ruler tool? Because I just tried to use it and my roll 20 broke again. 
I someone needs someone, someone else too. to measure all of my ranges from now on. No worries. I'm all right. No measure. problem. Okay. Okay. You know what? I volunteered and I was like, I got. I've got. I'm running a fucking got boss fight. I, got I hate him. those. So. We got him. <laughs> the storm is forming. Ted, when this is over, do you want to like go <laughs> up and cry together? <laughs> Ted, go get some cookies. Oh. Dad. I am, I am currently reheating an Arby sandwich on top of my oh, space that's, heater. That's not what you want to hear. <laughs> that's that's, that's a different vibe. Hold on. <laughs> what is I this? Did, I did also have a, a traditional Arby's sandwich and a Mountain Dew. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Look, an Arby's sandwich in victory is different than an Arby's sandwich in defeat. <laughs> it's a different vibe what? entirely. Oh, uh, okay. Um, 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 the clouds above already dense and heavy, um, crackling with electricity and rolling visibly in the air. Uh, Lucky stretches out her fingers towards them and, uh, and, uh, beckons them to her command. Um, if I remember right, she's out of range to target anything. But I'm going to let Null begin his turn while I figure that out. Yeah, uh, quick. So it's basically like a round until they're on us, right? They're moving that, very, very fast. That is a safe assumption. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast I'm gonna cast a big spell. Uh, I, need to, I need to get a radius out. Okay. Just to see what it looks like real quick. Yeah, that that's uh fine. Think not range, yeah. Oh, and just so everyone knows, a uh 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 spear of lightning does strike the deck of the decoy. Okay. I am going to cast a big spell. Uh I'm going to cast uh, let me make sure. I'm not questioning whether it's on my list. <laughs> oh I'm my like... god. Sorry, Lucky just rolled very well for her damage. It was frightening. Yeah, it certainly is on my spell. I'm going to cast Blade Barrier. Uh, I, like, walk to the edge of the deck and, like, raise a hand and start writing in the air rapidly. And, like, with each word I'm writing in all of these languages, they, like, raise their sharp edge and go out. Uh, and I'm going to use the option that is 60 feet, yeah, ringed wall up to 60 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, 5 thick. 60 feet in diameter would be 30 feet radius. Double, I'm pretty sure. And they you're putting take... it over there. I'm putting it right in front of them so that when they pass through... They only take the damage once, but uh -huh. it's more effective than making a, a wall. Kind of. At least it puts more like things in between arrow shots. Yeah, no, it's much more okay. effective than, than Okay. Yeah, so they'll only take damage once on their turn if they go all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, and only when they hit the very edge. Uh, and then okay. I can either roll damage now or when on your turn. Okay. Okay, and that is my turn. Go on, play fair. Level spell. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I'm going to have to move it. That's fine. Interfering with my token clicking. Yeah. It's really just going to be a one-time damage thing, more than likely. Okay, excellent. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Doing math in my head is yeah. not as hard as I think it is. Uh, okay. And on Bernadette's turn, the vessel moves. Now I get to see whether or not this is going to be a disaster. Uh, actually, we're going to move you. Yeah, if you need to, to move the map. The... And fucking god. I know, sorry. It's I know what you're trying to do right now, and it's exactly in the way of lassoing all of them and moving. Them. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I know. Yes, it is. We can just delete it and put it back. <sighs> no, I don't want that. I have to find it. <laughs> That's fine. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Then there is. This is going to look fucked up. Oh. Hey, not bad. Uh, so it's twenty feet high, which uh, it's go that that will hit the yeah yeah yeah. Don't even worry about that. Um, but that is going to uh make it so everything does pass through it. Uh, do they make a save? Yes. Uh, yes, they try to make a deck save. Oh boy. <laughs> of nineteen. Okay. Two, three, four, ten, five, six. Okay. Uh, r yeah, roll damage. Ooh, pretty good. Okay. And... Bernadette, very good at those saves. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Not really for her. <laughs> uh, it does mulch a good number of things. Okay. Uh, how much damage was that? 40? 40. Okay. Pretty good. Uh-huh. Um, that does knock some things, uh, slice some, creature to, some creatures to ribbons, mm -hmm. uh, namely uh, several that uh were already uh clutching their heads from the uh sonic scream um actually i think that's a different spell <laughs> saying that out loud <laughs> the other weird thing is the ones inside of it right now have three quarters cover and also we have three quarters cover from them the yes while well, it's basically just a solid 20 foot high wall of wind or i should say wall of blades around them mm -hmm. that's weird uh, it is Vestra's turn next, so I'm going to allow you to take your turn while I continue calculating uh, this death toll. Um, I'm sure. curious to see how high my death toll goes with one move. <laughs> you all hear Noel, like, praying feverishly as each individual just gets sliced in half. Um, um, uh, I, Vestra, will, um... Uh, I step forward excitedly to the railing to, like, look upon what Noel has wrought. Um, <laughs> um, and, um, I, I, I mentally command Oryx, um, and I say, all right, get ready. Um, uh, hold on, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna count people in case they're there. Um, uh, it's, uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, uh, ten. I'm gonna tell Urix mentally to um count the ten, but what I'm doing is telling him to like, um, uh, I I want him to to move um uh on like Bernadette's turn, right? So he's like counting the the the, the each person's turn, right? That that's the what what I'm going for, um, so that way he moves before my next turn, right? You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, so you're you're more or less telling him to hold action. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm telling him okay. to hold hold a movement until like the beginning of like the like at the end of um you know her, uh, um um uh, the bad lady's turn. But um like he doesn't know who she is, so I'm just telling him like abstractly count to this number and then you know come come up right. Okay. Um, Okay, cool. Um, uh, so I, I, that's a free telepathic communication to him. Um, and then um, I will um, uh, 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 point a finger towards the boat as I begin to cast a spell and say, um, and I uh, shout loudly, you know, the problem with fighting pirates is that you can never tell who's your friend and who's your enemy. And I'm going to cast Enemies Abound on um, Captain Crow. Okay. Um, so she will need to make an intelligence saving throw. Uh, unless she is immune to frightened. 
she is not. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to use a legendary resistance. Okay. I still feel that's worth it. <laughs> I, feel that's oh, worth it. Yeah. I feel that's worth it. I feel that's worth it. The hell to push yeah. one. Um, uh, cool. A little disappointed. Um, I um, uh, uh, bring the scythe in front of me to prepare. Um, do I have a bonus action that's going to be useful? No, I'm going to cast a turn. I don't want to curse anything. I don't want to curse these little dudes because I don't know what anyone's capable of, really. Um, that is my turn. Very well. Uh, we have now some figures who have uh, been serrated uh, who are going to take the dodge action on their turn, and it is Yop's turn. Fair. Uh, okay. Yop is going to pull out a crossbow bolt and run it through her hand, which is still bleeding from the crimson right. So now she's got a bolt covered in blood and stick it in essentially what is a slingshot on the back of her shield. And as she launches it into the air, casting that, she'll turn to Betty and just say, Pull yourself together. The fight hasn't even really started yet. Um, and let me, uh, hold on. Oh, boy. I can't move, oh, Mr. Cone. You, you're on the measuring tool instead of the ground. Oh, thank you. That's why. <laughs> and what uh modifier do i use to turn it uh you have to just rotate it by when you have it selected yeah mm -hmm. oh kind i grabbed no oops kind of like your scroll <laughs> wheel or something like that uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you know, arrow keys maybe there's a little boop oh it has uh, a little uh, grabby uh, yeah. thing yeah yeah, there. yeah i'll be close enough yeah, like a like pain picture. in the ass. Whole thing yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah. yeah. So worth, that'll be... worth five bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, every penny. <laughs> That's good. That's just, all right. That is just uh, 10 damage for anyone who fails. Okay. All right. And... Uh, now I've got to get to them. <laughs> well, uh, now that you can see who they are, you can just delete that. Yeah, so, I, I actually still need to keep, like, I uh, I, I can't you. remember, so there's so many people on the right. map I have to be able to see. <laughs> and well, behind that there helps. have advantage behind the wall. Uh, and several of them are dodging, so there's yeah, true. Uh, not great. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll save. And that's a roll for Betty repairing herself. Okay. Oh, wow, you can't roll the save against no things, can you? Uh, okay. Uh, the spellcasters are suffering. <laughs> They're having a bad time. They're having, having a bad fucking time. Uh, okay, that... Uh, does that kill anybody else? Uh, you are dead. And you are dead. Oh, dead. I thought it'd be really fun to get Crow with the enemies thing and like just have her start cl cleaving her own crew apart. <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh, great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would absolutely kick ass. Yeah. She's too strong. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Excellent, excellent work. Uh, okay, and now Vakaris. Doug is muted. Sorry about that. It was uh, I knew it was. I just couldn't for some reason sign into my phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> I made a promise to myself to play for every single one of these spells. So just hang in there with me. <laughs> you just see Vakar is just kind of standing there with like his uh, palms out facing not really paying attention he's just kind of whispering to himself 
Um, but what each person sees, because everyone falls within my range, um, each each of the enemies, um, just <clears throat> excuse me, spring Vakaris coming up behind them and whispering in their ear, saying, <clears throat> "You've been right all along. They're planning on turning. Take them out now and get the glory for yourselves." And I'm casting a mass suggestion to get them to turn on each other. <laughs> And that hits everybody. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh my god, sorry. Coughing fit. Shit. (laughs) (gasps) Now now that there's a ton of people dead. I was I was planning on prioritizing, but I don't need to anymore. I mean I love the flavor. (laughs) It's creepy as fuck. I love. I really love the like you appearing uh, behind them, yeah. <laughs> whispering very, it's very fun. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was thinking about it earlier today, and I was like, "What haven't I done this more?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another legendary resistance. Yes. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, I will mark those who have failed with this little heart. Um, and then, uh, as if he just kind of snaps too, he looks over to Vestra and head Nova. Um, I, I I nod. All right, well, stay safe, and that's uh, an inspiration to you. <laughs> um, and one thing about the inspiration, too, is it's just a tiny little Vakaris that follows you, and then at the moment that you guys use it, uh, he just pulls on a string to help in whatever way he needs to. <laughs> little chibi, little chibi Vakaris. <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, the spellcasters, having really seen some shit at this point, um, uh, one of them, uh, will heal many of those who have, uh, who have suffered, though none who are fallen, um, and the other one, uh, draws her finger, uh, in the air across the, uh, uh, across the length of your deck, and, um, the port side ignites in fire. Uh, and I need Vestra, Noel, Yop, and Betty to make dexterity saving throws. I am got it. This 17. time. I can't roll no, two no. nat ones on this. Yes. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Uh, oh my yop. god. Yup, we'll use another flash of genius to make that uh, uh, 14 and then plus the five. So that's a 19. And okay. Betty's is a 16. That pulls all of those into saves uh, for 15 fire damage, uh, reduced to seven for Vestra. Thank you. Uh huh. And. Then a couple of these uh, bigger soldiers um, uh, begin, um, uh, under their charm effect, uh, begin fighting one another. It's excellent. Um, Where'd she go? Okay. Let's see. Um, While a few others... uh, fire uh, (laughs) longbows at one another. Excellent. Um, uh, One of them, however, is still uh, unmarked and shoots Vestra with a 25 and 23 to hit. Hey. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Um, 23 and uh, 25. I have... um... The 25, I can't do anything about. Um, they'll, they'll both hit. They'll, they'll, they both hit. Okay. That will be a total of uh, uh, 27 points of piercing damage. Yeah. It's more than I thought it would be. 
<laughs> you got gloves. She she she's like dead eyeing you with her longbow and uh and two quick uh pulls and you are punctured uh pretty severely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Excellent. All right. Zashel. Zashel will. Oh God! One monitor, one monitor sucks. Uh, Zashel will suddenly, um, around the crown of his head, a a series of iridescent feathers uh, spring up out of nowhere, and I am going as an action to cast Crown of Stars. Yes. <sighs> yes. Fuck yeah. Uh. All right. Um. Lucky. Uh, once again, calls on the lightning, but something happens, and as it arcs through the sky, it bends and grabs her, uh, and with a cry of surprise, she is yanked into the sky, while off the starboard side of the ship, there is this massive surge of water that pulls vertically uh, and begins taking a form behind her. Uh, beast of water and foam and darkness and mist, lightning and thunder rolling through its body. Uh, let me drop a token. Hey, Ted. Yo. Quick question for you. Do you get yep. to make an attack when you cast Crown of Stars? Not when I cast it. I, I can do it as a bonus action. I was going to try to target one of the... Uh, um, gotcha. I know there's a wall of fire on the front part of the ship. Oh, shit. Uh, I am somewhat familiar with the spell, having seen my sister cast it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping uh, I can, once I know where it is on the ship, uh, move so that I can see around it and plug one of those spellcasters as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. But I, I will wait. Gotcha. And as this wave begins taking on its monstrous form, it cries out with a voice from the depths in a shriek and roar that echoes through Lucky as well. Uh, and I need uh, everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Against Frighten. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> is it any? Is it anything that can hear it? Uh, yes. Okay, so is that Urix beneath the deck also needs to do this? Yes. Is it a magical effect or no? No. For magic. Okay. Me is my very special boy. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You, you're so special. <laughs> I wanted to use him one time. <laughs> I think the very special boy and then the nat one uh, is charming beyond belief. Um, Vestra? Oh, wait, no. Noel, you are the only one who saves against Frighten. And now it is your turn. Uh. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess to start, uh, I will turn a uh, point at it and do one of my channel divinities to make some of it slight, some of its massive form slightly more susceptible to damage than water. Uh, as a bonus, uh, I don't, yeah, nothing. I'll just move over to here. End of my turn. Okay. Keep in the water Sorry, well, what did, what 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 action did you take? Uh channel divinity. So path to the grave it now okay. has vulnerability. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 
excellent. Uh, Bernadette seems uh, somewhat shaken as well by this uh, entity of the elements that has made itself uh, seen, um, but still drives the vessel forward. <sighs> and things might get hit again. Uh, ignore the fucked up uh, movement that this appears to take. I love it. <laughs> it's truly wonderful. Uh, that is what we are going to pretend is acceptable behavior. Um, <laughs> Damage again. Okay. But then they'll be more or less out of it. Mm -hmm. this. And it only got everything from this back, which isn't that many things, but there's a few. Mm -hmm. The ones in the front are just fine. Okay. Oh, you're dead. You are so dead. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> following the pull from the uh, the emerging the emerging of the decoy through this uh, circle of hell, um, uh, so, uh, steel hell that uh, that Null has summoned, mm -hmm. there is a broad vessel, um, one that is familiar that has. You guys are preoccupied um other vessels coming and moving in different directions you hear uh explosions of gunpowder and the cries of of uh warfare like it is it is distant but it is present um and suddenly another vessel is uh blatantly obvious um uh one that is uh loud with the drums of war chants and uh and what is obviously and loudly uh orcish music um as uh captain uh Therox, uh and his crew um pilot through uh and overtake a vessel uh boarding and slaughtering uh, handily many members of one of the other prince's uh, ships. Um, I'm not going to have him come your way. You guys have it handled, at least for now. Also, there is a giant elemental behind you, and fucking yeah. with that is stupid. Yeah. Vestra, it is your turn. Cool. Um, Eryx uh, tries to come up the stairs as he's been instructed and um, finds he cannot because moving up the stairs is moving closer to the elemental. That is correct. Yeah. Um, and so he just um, responds, like whimpers a bit and responds tele telepathically to me You're that right. um, he's too afraid. He's too afraid. Um and uh, I, I share that emotion back to him, um, but tell him everything is going to be all right. Um, I will shout over the din of noise, um, uh, um, uh, uh, kind of aiming the scythe towards Lucky in the sky. Is she, is she doing that or are we in very big trouble? Um, do you really need us to answer that question? <laughs> I don't know what she's capable of. Um, that, that's uh, a I, joke on the "Are we in trouble?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. Uh, I will step to the side. Um, and Yop looks as frightened as the any of us do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll step to the side and um, reach out. Um, and uh, grab hold of Yop's shell and kind of like turn her so I can catch her eye a bit and say, Don't worry, <laughs> Kalimvor will watch over all of us. Uh, I'm going to cast Heroism at second level on her and myself, and we are immune to frighten. Excellent. 
cool. Uh, we do gain temp hit points, but we already have temp hit points that are higher than what this is, so they don't. They don't well, occur. you guys I have don't. taken damage. Oh, yeah. actually, we have. Yeah, we have taken damage. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I, Plus, I you forgot. get those every turn, so that's worth keeping. Uh, yeah. So you, we each get five hit points at the start of each of our turns. Yeah. Okay, which actually reminds me. Uh, well, I'll do it on my turn. It looks like you don't get them when the spell is cast. Um, At the start of each of its turns. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. yep. All right. Thanks, Watsy. <laughs> thanks, thanks Crawford um, <laughs> um, all right, I'm just going to put like a shield or something on myself so uh, I know uh, okay that's my action um, I turn and look like um, that thing's like real big but there's a whole lot of people. There's a whole lot. There's a whole lot of people behind us that are their problems as well. Um, how close are our ships at the moment? Um, within boarding distance. Okay. Um, do I go to them or make them come to us? Yikes. I mean, where is this at? Who's controlling the elemental, right? Is it lucky? Um, okay. Uh, Didn't she, like, scream when it yanked her yeah. up? Yeah, but that, that could be, like, ultimate power, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, be, being released. Uh, who, who knows? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna try to keep the the people at our backs um, at at bay a little bit. Um, I'm gonna uh, e use my my movement to leap over onto their boat. Okay. Um, and um, scythe at the ready, but I point um, uh, I I point the scythe towards Crowl, um, and uh, I will say to her, um, "You and me are gonna have a little chat." And I'm gonna curse her. I'm gonna use my curse. Uh, you dark. see, you see her spit, and she just says, "I don't even know who the hell you are." <laughs> um, that that's that's uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. All right, excellent. Uh, and as Bernadette says, so one of her crewmates comes up behind her and swings. She deftly turns and, with her saber, uh, uh, pulls the rapier from her crewmate's hand. Uh, and it is Yop's turn. Uh, Yop sort of shakes her head to uh, clear the fear out of it. Uh, looks across the way and sees Vestra. Looks over her shoulder. <laughs> oh, oh dear! Yeah, bet, no, Betty, let's go. Sees that Betty is scared shitless, and they both head over. And actually, Yop's just gonna pour around here and take a couple swings with the old warhammer at that feller. Okay. Then 18 hit. Yes. Uh, I should also say, uh, uh, Lucky's luck only works if you were on her boat, just, just okay. so you know. So does a 17 hit? Yes, yes, yeah. You're still good. Okay. Oh, and actually, I've forgotten a couple times now. One is I'll get the five temporary hit points from Heroism. Mm -hmm. And last round and this round, I regenerated one hit point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, it'll yeah. matter. There you go. One of your boo boos is cut, sl is just yeah, low, hell yeah, slightly. Uh, look, w w at the rate that Yop's been going unconscious, this is going to yeah. be a lifesaver. Uh, and swing number two, another seventeen. Alrighty, mm -hmm. that's uh, fourteen points of damage, and uh. Betty, I guess, is attacking at disadvantage because she's st she's 
still afraid. And the water elemental is definitely within sight. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, oh, uh, Jesus. That's yeah. And that's everything. Does Betty get to make another save? Yes. All right, is it wisdom you said, I think? Yes. Yeah, that checks out. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where we are. All right. Uh, the elemental surges upward and takes on a serpentine form. A coil of its body crashes into the hull of the ship. There is a shattering of wood. The harpoons uh, uh, fracture and split, and uh, Zashel... Uh, I think an 18 hits. Yep. That was a two on the die. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a total of 13 bludgeoning and six acid damage. Okay. Uh, I'm not actually concentrating on anything, so I don't have to check. <laughs> right, Crown of Stars. That's why it's so good. One of the many reasons. Yeah. I mean, it's one of my favorite spells. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Vicaris. <clears throat> um, scared out of his mind. <laughs> he is going to back up. Um, and he will uh, start gathering a ton of strings um, attached to those that the monster just uh, broke off of the ship. And with a bunch of crates and broken boards and harpoons and whatever else he can find, he is going to cast anime objects uh, with two large and one medium. So that way I'm not doing ten hits around. <laughs> Only three. Um, and as a bonus action... He will send this amalgamation to go and fight the water elemental so that he doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they can fly. So yay for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, a, a, a bunch of the vessel begins crashing into the water and these golden threads catch them before they fall and yank them up and begin battering it like a flail. Um, it does. It is made of water, so damages mitigated substantially but roll roll to yeah. see roll, roll what you get it was like yeah it's it's that or firebolt so i'm sure he's <laughs> resistant to that as well <laughs> yeah. oh bitch uh, oh my god will oh. trigger my path to the grave so it'll double. that is true nothing has attacked it yet yo huge oh. <laughs> oh. the largest oh, of objects yeah so it yeah so it is it is resistant it becomes vulnerable so it's a, a neutral but a, that's pretty good that's good, pretty good fucking damage yeah for that hey. for the <laughs> resistant again to the other two uh the other two attacks don't hit okay. yeah the feeling um that is my bonus action <laughs> and um i'm just gonna keep walking away a little bit <laughs> uh and that'll end my turn <laughs> I will hide uh, behind this. <laughs> excellent. Um, the spellcasters uh, are uh, on deck, the ones that you've struck, uh, Yop. Um, they do not appear to be as... A f uh, there's like a shakiness to their step. Um, this elemental is terrifying and awe-inspiring and on its own, <laughs> but uh, there is some amount of like acknowledgement as if uh and almost a calling and a beckoning for it in their uh in in their dance um This might be a really stupid move, but it might be fun. Um, uh, the one that you are fighting uh, is going to make you make a constitution saving throw, Yop, mm -hmm. as she puts her hands together uh, and um, 
a brilliant bolt of lightning. Not lightning bolt, but uh, uh, excellent. That um, is a save. Okay. Um, I didn't. You you might have said something else. <laughs> Sorry. Um, That's all right. Uh, that is a save. Uh, so you are not blinded by sunbeam. Uh, flavored to be a tempest spell. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Roll damage. Half is 16 points of radiant damage. Um, and then the second one is going to likewise uh, um, attack Vestra. So Vestra, actually, she's going to move first and then attack Vestra. Uh, Vestra, I need to make a con save. Um, you got it. Please. It's a nat 111. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, then you. Do you need an inspiration? I mean, I don't have any. So I will give you one. Uh, okay, I will take your inspiration. Kellen Vor, protect me. <laughs> I've just been sitting on them. This is the moment. I do not want you to be blinded. <laughs> I mean, it that would is... be bad for me. That is a save. You are not blinded, and take uh, 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 15 points of radiant damage. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Great. Uh, these two are... Oh, this one, that's actually where the spots are. Uh, because this ship got rotated, the token placing gets a little fucked, and that's fine. Uh, great. All right. Yup. I have uh, a total of six great sword attacks coming your way. You ready? Mm hmm. 22, not 20, 20, 20, 18, 20. You are out of uh, range to fix the nat 20. So. The nat 20, I obviously can't do anything about. There's an 18, an 18, a 20. None of those hit. And so I missed what I missed what the So there's a 22 and a nat 20. They both yep. hit. All right. Uh, these two guards, or the, the, these, these two soldiers are fighting mm -hmm. one another. And upon uh, seeing you, uh, one of them throws her companion's blade in your direction. And in her maddening haze, the both of them both uh, attack, attack you. Um, mass suggestion goes a long way, but you did just kind of just confuse them all. They just get to be aggro to be aggro. Uh, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ooh, ouch. Is that, ooh. Ooh, oh, hold on. I have to figure something out now. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so at the strength level that they are, one of them uh, deals 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. And the other one with her nat 20 deals 33 points of slashing damage. So 47 total. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and the one beside Vestra uh, takes a stealing breath takes her second wind um, and attacks Vestra with an 18, 15, and 22. Um, the 22 um, would hit, but I, I will use your reaction to cast shield uh, so none of them will hit. Excellent. Are any of my archers yet living? They are not. Out of initiative they go. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. If roll 20 will... No, don't, don't, don't. You fuck. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah. <laughs> Scrubbed the wrong one. Yeah. Uh. Do 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 do. The big friend. Big man. Okay. Hmm. 
very easy turn, honestly. Uh, the first one, uh, under the ship, and then over, comes crashing a heavy-weighted tail that is finned like a, uh, like a dolphin's and smashes into you, Null. Um, has a 31 to hit. Mm-hmm. For, ah! Uh, <laughs> 19 bludgeoning and one point of acid. <laughs> okay. Little sizzle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... Moves. Uh, then, Zashel, uh, you will once again, uh, feel the weight of its, uh, watery form, uh, crushing you and the deck that you are upon. 35 to hit for <laughs> 11 bludgeoning and 5 acid. Uh, so 16 total. I would mm -hmm. just like to take this moment to uh, <laughs> laugh at everyone who suggested I go buy armor as if it would have done <laughs> fuck all for this right now. <laughs> for that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, none of us can stop that. Yeah, I mean, I, I realized that it probably still would have been useful against all the people you y'all are fighting. But yeah. why don't you come over here? Because uh, this thing has a hold on Lucky, and you guys got that. You're fine. You're, you're fine, right? Short turn, Zashel. You're good. All right, I am still frightened of this thing, and so Zashel is visibly torn between. Does this have Lucky like lifted off the boat, or just has a grip on her? She is um, suspended in the air by bolts of lightning. Oh. Huh. <laughs> as she does. Yeah, as as you does. do. <laughs> um, oh, I feel like this is a real bad use of a spell, but I'm going to do it anyway because I haven't gotten to try it yet. Uh, Zashel's whole form begins to shimmer, and a uh, the the sort of uh, feathery wings of uh, uh, any, that anybody who has seen Liru's form suddenly pop up. Uh, he does not fly, but they are crackling with radiant energy. And as a bonus action, uh, that didn't come up, so I'm casting uh, Spirit Shroud uh, for radiant damage. I can't. I can't. I, I had to turn off all of my add-ons, so I can't link anything from D&D Beyond to here, but... Uh, oh, no. If I can... Come on. Come on, game. Uh, that is, it's a bonus action to cast. I don't know how to put this into the thing now that it's... It's Spirit Shroud. It. It's Spirit Shroud. Uh, yeah. I choose Radiant Damage. Any attack I make deals extra d8 damage when I hit a creature that is within 10 feet of me, uh, which this creature is currently. Mm -hmm. So I am then going to, in a, uh, I realize this is all at disadvantage, but uh, I am going to bust out the Eldritch Blast. Uh, all targeting my watery elemental critter friend. Critter. Uh, so that's still a 29 to hit. Mm. Yeah. Um, for 7 Radiant and 3 Force. That is a 21 to hit. I'm just going to roll the last to hit. And a 17. 17 barely hits. So that is 11 total and 7 total. So is that 28? Uh, 10. <laughs> tw yes, 28 damage. All right. All right. 
uh, from the air, still uh, suspended and crying out voice, uh, muffled by the uh, roars of the Leviathan and the uh, and the rolling of the storm, um, electricity fires from Lucky's uh, splayed hands, um, and uh, Null and Vakaris need to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vicaris. <coughs> Hold up. Huh. Vicaris saves. Um, uh, Null, you take 25 points of lightning damage, and Vicaris takes uh, 12. Um, and then. There is another crash as more of this boat is pulled underwater. Uh, everyone who is on the turtle shell, um, it is difficult to rain as the vessel begins to sink. Uh, and not in the uh, slow and dramatic water filling way that ships typically begin to sink, but in the half of the boat appears to be missing and uh, it is going down, sinking. Um, uh, then, Noel, it is your turn. Cool, so Lucky just, uh, just blasted us, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll run to... Uh, so the front half of this boat is currently fucked, right? Uh, the, the, the starboard side of this boat is currently fucked. Okay. There are sailors overboard, and <laughs> it is kind of a bad scene. Okay. Uh, I gotta make sure I have my 30 feet. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Mass Cure Wounds. Centered on myself. Pretty fine. I'll add, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll add Vicaris's in, uh, inspiration dice. So it's gonna be Vicaris, me, uh, Zashel, Vestra, and Diop. That's five. I don't know how Lucky's doing, but Lucky did also just blast me, so, eh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so 28 total. Huge. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I could do. All right. Uh, Bernadette, uh pummels uh, the pommel of her blade into her crew member. Uh, she stops uh, fighting her. Um, uh, and then uh, pulls her palm pistol from her hip and fires at uh, Vestra with a 23. Uh, will not hit currently. Because you have shield. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, your axe is uh, not significant right now. Vestra. Um, OK. <clears throat> um, I turn and look and see the boat beginning to go, like that boat beginning to go, and um, just say, Eryx, do what you can. Come to me if you're able. Um, and then um, a threat assessment. The people in front of me, armor, mm -hmm. armor, weaponry. Um, one of them beside you, the one that is has blasted you with radiant light, uh, pretty much unarmored, appears to be a dancer of a form, um, a mystic of some kind. Uh, the other one is uh, head to toe in plate. Uh, she seems quite powerful. Yeah. Physically. 
Okay, and um, what um, uh, I gained my five temp HP. Um, and what kind of armory armor is um the captain wearing? Uh, um, I believe she is wearing um, uh, leathers and her uh her coat. Okay, so uh, not heavy armor. Um, okay, cool. Um. I will um, begin to like you know attempt to like parry some of the the strikes that this armored person is is bringing out, um, but I'm gonna bring the scythe up um, on this uh, spellcaster, um, try to cut their dumb leg off. Um, the the scythe, um, twenty six to hit, will hit. Okay, for eight slashing, um, as a uh, a blast of uh, radiant light shoots out for another four uh, uh, radiant uh, uh, as I smite her. Excellent. And that's a con save, which is a success for concentration. All right. I um, twirl the blade and again bring it back down, um, going for one of the um, arms that they're using to cast their spells. Mm -hmm. um, a 19 to hit. Will hit. Okay. Uh, be for eight slashing, um, and I will uh, once more um, smite thee uh, for eight uh, radiant energy. Okay, still maintains your concentration. Um, okay, um, my bonus actions, those are all spells. I am concentrating on the one. Um, Um. Yeah, I'll 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 stay my ground as I kind of like hold hold my own against these two people here. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Um. The, my my turn ends. Although I am immune to frighten, do I still save against like the effect that it's having? Because I'm I'm just suppressing it as long as the spell exists. Uh, as long as the spell exists, then you do not need to make. The, well, I guess you could continue to make. I, I actually, I'm going to say that while it is suppressed, you would not be making the save. Okay. Um, and then, um, since we're just kind of like keying Eric's turn on mine uh, for ease of mm -hmm. use, um, he'll he'll make his save because his turn mm -hmm. ends, right? Yes. Okay. Special boy. It's a six. Oof. Oh, poor boy. Yeah. Um. Uh, he, luckily, he does have water breathing, so he'll he'll uh, he'll be okay. He'll, he'll be, be okay. He'll be okay. He'll he be he okay. does communicate to you that there is there is water on deck. Yeah. Yeah. And he's too scared. He can't like move anywhere. Are there any um? Well, uh, the the boat like are there holes he could escape from? Um. Uh, not that are not holes that the beast has made. Yeah. Okay. They all all roads lead to this beast. Okay. Um, that, <laughs> that, that that is my turn. Uh, all right, Yop, you are up. Okay. Uh, just well, ooh, I need my one hit point here, and my five <laughs> temporary hit points. That one hit point is, I'm telling you, that's going to be the difference. It will save you for well, sure. I mean, there's. I anticipate a lot of Yop going down and that one hit point bringing her back up to swing that Warhammer a couple times. Um, Yop just had the shit kicked out of her and is quite bloody. Um, and so we'll change tactics a little bit, instruct Betty to uh, go help Vestra. And Yop reaches for what looks like a ripcord on the inside of her shield. She pulls it a couple times until finally something catches. And then the, <laughs> right, the, the, the shield starts to vibrate a little bit. And then Yop's arm starts to vibrate a little bit. And then Yop is vibrating. And Yop will cast <laughs> blur on herself. <laughs> um, and will use her bonus action to point at this guy and just say, stop swinging that sword so many goddamn times. 
and uh, <laughs> I am going to amplify that so that it will last 10 rounds. And that's my bonus action, so Betty will just dodge and hang out. Okay. And we are going to pause for a second and take our 10-minute break and be back f at 5 after. Okay. <gasps> my heart is still racing.
tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages, your continued patronage is very, very welcome. Intermission. Rise and stretch time. Time to refresh yourself and visit our snack bar. Got a yen for hot popcorn? Your favorite soft drinks are sparkling cold. The juicy Frank sizzling hot. There's delicious coffee freshly brewed. And all kinds of ice cream and candy to tempt you. Showtime will be announced loud and clear to get you back to your car in time. So stretch your legs. Come to the snack bar now. It's not having a good day. Yeah. You should keep possums around. They're good. They eat uh, ticks. Yes, in theory. Uh, this one has managed to get into our wall and then into our attic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> otherwise, it was doing fine under the house, like doing the good work, good little soldier. Uh, Definitely want to hear those scritches on the wood at like 3 a.m. Yeah. That's exactly got, what you want. It got in the wall and I can smell it when it's in the wall. And um... I got it. <laughs> so, so, so 3 a.m. the other day. Uh, actually, I don't even think it was 3 a.m. Uh, it, it was. It might have been Monday night, uh, Tuesday morning. I wake up. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm half asleep trying to figure out why in the fuck I am suddenly awake and I hear the little scritching of mouse feet because we have a field mouse problem because I live in the country and I'm like okay they're in the drop ceiling they can be up there fuck it I'm tired it's 2am I look around and a bag of cookie dust now I have drained most of the cookie dust because I am a cookie <laughs> fanatic uh -huh. um a cookie monster, I, thank you. I am a cookie monster, and I put the empty, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, empty bag into my trash can. I look up, well, I mean, I look across, really, because I'm in bed, and I, and I look over at my desk. There is a mouse attempting to pull the cookie bag out of yeah. my trash can. Yeah. So yeah. it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, why the fuck am I awake? And I look over, and I just see this floating cookie bag. And I'm like, you've got to be fucking Russian kidding me at two o'clock in the morning that mouse that mouse <laughs> is working for it <sighs> yeah. i so love I, that <gasps> my boy I, I i very calmly took the, the the trash can which also contained some empty chip bags i put it out in the big room uh and i just went back to bed yeah <laughs> it's like you've earned this i don't care just let me I'm sleep i'm worried about your living situation my man you got Rats and it's a mid pack. You're, you're warming up army army sandwiches on a space heater. Yeah. Like <laughs> they're they're field mice. They're little tiny things. They're not rats, but it's just that's just country living. Like I, I've gotten used to this. Plus the the people that own the house and put it up put in a drop ceiling, and you should never do that in the country because uh, this house was built before they did like the solid concrete pours for basements. Oh boy! So like, there's a there's a gap between the cinder block of the basement and the wood of the other levels. Oh, but that but the, the cinder block literally ends like a foot below the ground. Uh huh. Because again, these people built their own home and were not yeah. college educated. Yeah, there's yeah, that, that space between places, that luminal Hell space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, luminal spaces are so, really good in here. We, we had that on, um, there was um uh, one house I lived in for a while growing up was like a very very old farmhouse it was like 200 years old so, and um, it had that same kind of like crawl space under the floor and like anytime we brought the barn cats in the winter like we would keep them in the basement a lot of the time 
um, and they'd like would love it inside that place, and they found all <laughs> sorts of treasures for themselves in there. Hello. 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 Okay. Sorry, it just went silent all at once, and I was like, "Not again." <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. Tyler's gonna help you. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Vicaris. Damn it. <laughs> Can we get clarity on the the lucky situation? Does her bonus apply or or not? Um. Uh. Yes, it does. Okay, she's in the air, but the bonus applies for those that are on that boat. Mm -hmm. Or what's left of this boat. What's mm -hmm. left of it for now. I'm imagining when the boat goes under, if you stay on the boat, you still get it? <laughs> you still get it, but it it's the least of your problems. <laughs> uh, um, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. <laughs> we'll, we'll cross that boat when we sink it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a plan. <laughs> you had like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I started coloring. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had other plans too, but, you know, roles being what they are. <laughs> the game having a system and... <laughs> See, not just it. all fancy free out here we can't just do whatever we want this is sucks. Like such a dumb role max <laughs> <laughs> um, this game sucks it's been two years and I quit <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, now nah, this is the end of my turn excuse me um, I am going to uh, so, uh, looking at Lucky, does she look distressed or, or like, her brows furred in anger? <laughs> um, it's who? Lucky. Um, she does not appear to have uh, any control over herself currently. Okay, okay. She, like, okay. kind of, like, a non-ending scream, uh, just suspended in the air. Mm -hmm. It would be killer to have detect magic right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and I'm only saying that because I have the spell, so it'd be cool to know if I could focus it anywhere. Um, you know what? Let's chaos bolt him. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> uh, here we go. And first level. Tell me what you roll. Holy shit. <laughs> You are frightened, though. You are frightened. To be oh, okay, so then it's just the first one. You are correct. Um, 2d8, and I always do. Is 2 plus 5. God damn it! Lightning. <laughs> is he resistant? Probably fucking immune. Yeah, this thing's Probably. been... It's that or fire. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Do you think fire is a better option? Probably, considering I mean, it's half made of lightning. Well, it's made of water too. Like you got to pick your poison. You know, they're not. They're they're, they're both tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, flavor of Robitussin at this point. I feel like fire. Look, you oh can ste you can steam some of its water. All right, fine. We'll go for fire. Between fire and lightning, it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm going for fire. And then um, um, I'm going to turn to Noel and just, we got this, right? Right? We got this. Uh, and that's going to be his inspiration to you once again. Uh, and then at the end of my turn, I'm going to make the save, and my guys are going to make their attacks. All right. Uh, and tell me what you rolled for the attack. Mm -hmm. Sure. And... What, 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 what did you roll to hit? Oh, uh, for the chaos bolt? Yeah. 21. Oh, okay. Yeah, that hit. Alright. Uh, yeah, and make your wisdom save. Tell me what you roll. 
16. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. yeah, and your objects. Uh, and then, yep, my medium is hitting four. Nat one. <laughs> Second one is hitting my large. 13. The third one. 19. There we go. Okay. Um, and then that one will do 11 damage. Okay. And I am coming back to my desk here in just a second. And I'm going to stay here hiding behind this thing for now until the boat submerges. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, oh, sweet. It's my turn. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if Noel is supposed to take damage at his turn. Uh, From what? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, you are, you're fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. Um, okay. Uh, moving this way. Whoop, too far. Uh, yeah, this way. Uh, and then this way. No. Right. The two mages um, uh, will cause Vestra and Yop to once again throw constitution saving throws. Peace. Uh, I will flash a genius that, so it's a 17. Okay. Uh, uh, both of those will save then. Um, and so you each will take 10 points of radiant damage and not be blind. Okay. Um. Okay, maintain. Okay. Oh, boy. Something happened with my hit points here. This is not at all correct. Let me... Oh, I see that. Yeah. I'm guessing it's Good. when I tried out the Beyond 20 thing. Let me turn that off just so there's not a problem there. Okay. Um, Thank you. Oh, yeah. Like, if your sheet wasn't updated, it'll then, like, suddenly fill right. it up all, all your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I um, <clears throat> think, oh no, I still would have had the temporary hit points. So let's do this. That's 50, you would have the five. three, and I'll get rid of those five temporary hit points and we'll call that. And let me just make sure, yeah, things look good there. Okay. And then and, um, you're going to maintain your, your blur. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I crashed again. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. Shit. We can do this theater of the mind. Uh, can we? I can't right now. Oh, the laptop is not turning on at all. Awesome. Like, it's okay. We'll just have Ted roll for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um It's getting late. Um we're not yeah. going to hit the end of combat before end of session. Um Oh, I hate to do this. We we got to we got to We yeah, got to Yeah, seems end. like a perfect place to pause it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's it's very high in the initiative, you know. Uh, yeah, <sighs> it is all all good. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> and um, next week 
and the week after we do not have session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 22nd oh, and dang. 29th. Okay. I was going to say, yeah. unfortunately, or 23rd I, and 30th. I would I would have to be like, not next weekend, or not next week, because I won't be here. And be, being the healer, that feels bad. Oh my uh, god. The laptop was unplugged. The power went out. <laughs> Why was it unplugged? Oh no. I don't know. Maybe, you know, moving well, stuff. Maybe someone touched something. Right. Yeah. And and ultimately, right, that yeah, is potentially, right, not a bad problem at all. If it's yeah. just that the battery ran yeah. out, right, yeah. and got to plug it in, let it recharge, that, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, that'd be a pretty good outcome. Yeah, that would be an ideal. Oh, we might already be back. If I, if, if I log in and everything is still alive. Yes, okay, okay. Let's keep going? We can okay. do a few more. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good to play. Okay. Be awkward for Craig. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's he's seen and done worse. Yeah, we told him to leave the room and everything. <laughs> this feels I think you should like go. Greg, <laughs> hey, it's time. <sighs> Back. Rat uh, I feel yeah. myself aging so quickly today. <laughs> 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 I I don't. I've had stressful games before, but I don't think I've ever been this tech stressed. Look, just imagine how good it's going to feel when you when you when you lay your head down tonight. <laughs> and you just and, and, you, you, and you're horizontal for a bit, right? That's going to fucking rip. Yeah. And you think I really got those fuckers tonight, didn't I? Look, <laughs> like fuck sleeping. You're going to lay your head down. You could just you could just be horizontal for a bit and not be on the computer. That's going to fucking rip. <laughs> you got that to look forward to. Oh, okay. Here we go. I just didn't, yeah, I would I was not looking forward to having a break for th three weeks. Okay. All right. Okay. What's happening? I've already forgotten. Um. um oh, it's uh, my turn. Did the sun burn. Yeah, your spellcasters. Uh -huh. Your spellcasters went. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Winging boys. Uh, and you guys rolled your con saves for concentration. Mm -hmm. They look fantastic. Incredible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, here come the swords, the many, many swords. Uh, Yap, okay. I have, I have, I have a total of what will be five attacks against you until someone realizes that, um, that's going okay, to deal so damage. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just roll that d8 so we can get it out of the way. Beautiful. And uh, what is your AC currently? Uh, yeah. it is 21. All of these attacks are at disadvantage. Mm-hmm, mm hmm, mm -hmm. All Right, None and... Of them Okay, fantastic. Nice. All right. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. I've got one more from the other one. Uh, I don't think she hits it. Nah, it's a nat one. Okay. Uh, okay. And then three attacks towards Vestra. Nat one, the, 24, 16. The first one of those would be at disadvantage. Nat Although one. Although I guess if Excellent. that was a nat one, it doesn't make a difference. So. Yeah. Uh, Sean, um, 24 to hit? Uh, 24 will hit no, no matter what I do. Okay. Uh, and a 16 as well. Uh, 16 misses. Okay. That first attack then does 15 points of slashing damage. <laughs> yeah, these these women hit like trucks. Um, Big save. Uh, holy hell. Okay. Um, okay. Now it is the Leviathan's turn. Um... Uh, continuing to rain down its massive weight upon the ship it is going to get. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on. That's the button. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, obviously, this doesn't affect your breathing at all, Zashel. Uh, wow, it rolled a nat 1 to hit you for a 17, but that's not gonna hit still. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Um, the tail that is on the opposite side of the ship uh, um, flails about, having smashed the port side of the turtle shell, flings itself to the other deck of the other ship, uh, uh, and Vestra, I have a 25 to hit. Yeah, definitely. That is 20 bludgeoning and 6 acid. <clears throat> oh, okay. 20 and then 6? Yes. It's not my favorite. <laughs> 14 and 6 is 13. Okay. Uh, barely make my save. Okay. Zashel. Is... Can I swim up this creature to where Lucky is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a water elemental. I have a swim speed. It has engulfed me. It's charitably difficult terrain. <laughs> <laughs> charitably, I will yeah. say this. I will say this will take half movement, but to say that she is fifteen feet in the air, which would be thirty feet above the surface of the ocean, is also within a realm of reason. Just ride that flume up. Just whoop. <clears throat> There's no way it could have known you swim. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in that case, I will uh, w swim up to Lucky. I will wrap my arms around her, and uh, if if she can hear me in the the bond, uh, I I will just say I'm I'm getting you out of here, but you have to come with me, and uh, I will use my last spell slot, <laughs> and I will dimension Taurus the fuck out of here. Okay, where are you going? I could uh, I could go two hundred. What, what is it? I can go up to five hundred feet. Oh boy, I, uh, I want to get back on the turtle shell, but that is literally uh, a sinking ship. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, oh God, I will just put us at the back of the. I, can I put us in the crow's nest of the decoy? Is there somebody in the crow's nest? <laughs> that is. Uh... I was gonna say when you were looking at the back, it's like that's a blade wall, my boy. No, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the blade wall is gone at this point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's gone. I just don't have. It's on a different uh, layer. Than me. Out of the frying pan into the blade wall. In and I, I know they're not like in the initiative track or anything, but Toby and Micah are, are like planning on abandoning this sinking These vessel. People, I'm hoping. They they are doing their due diligence, but they are not morons. No, okay, I just want to be clear because they're in the yes. bond, and like yes. I'm leaving the ship, and I always feel nervous like mm -hmm. leaving them behind. Mm -hmm. Um, um, they they clearly know what they are doing at this time. Okay. Um, yeah. I worry. Yeah. Those are my boys. I worry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes two of us. <laughs> we could, none of the rest of us know what we're doing. <laughs> so you're going up to the crow's nest. No, that's I'm a terrible there. idea because we're going to end up <laughs> falling out of the crow's nest at yeah, some you know. point. But... <laughs> That's never falling damage has never occurred in 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 Max's game. Nah. <laughs> in this game, nah. I, You're good. The the other option, uh, if I if there, oh god. I mean, going down to the deck just seems like. Ashy, <laughs> you you know what you have to do in your heart. You put yourself right next to Bernadette. You face her. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, no, I'm, uh, oh, sorry i'm afraid that's not it i'm looking at my sheet here it says not it I mean, cinematically i think the right answer is find find a dinghy that's 500 uh, feet away and teleport into that and just fuck off be like you guys got it like is there Literally, another boat if, yeah, there I was is. gonna say there's if them. there was like one of the the ships from Seton, I would do that. But I'm not. There's the boat, y'all. Come on now. Yeah, there's the War Boys. They're here. Yeah, you can go down the War Boys. <laughs> Great. Um, I think he's Lucky's buff. Yeah, that's part of it. Is I want her on this other vessel so that everyone yeah. there is getting the the bonus. Um, the back of the ship is probably. Really? It's probably safer than Crow's Nest. Yeah. Certainly. 
on the other hand, if this ship starts sinking, like Crow's Nest gives us plenty of time. You're really higher up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Smart. Smart. <laughs> I've seen a pirate movie. Crow's nests never come down. Masks don't break. <laughs> Unbreakable. <laughs> like dreams. Uh, hey, did our ship's just... mast break? <laughs> no, did, Where's that gif of our... Captain Jack Sparrow like drifting yeah. in yeah. on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a great yeah, shot that just... is. I, I will take us... Oh, God. I have 500 feet and I am using yeah. 60 feet. God, this just feels bad. <laughs> I could um, get to Thorax's vessel over I... here, but I kind of don't like that guy, so. He's going to want that money. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to want, yeah. I have strong opinions. <laughs> <about money. laughs> Actually, Go help my friends. <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> He's over there screaming, I want my $2. <laughs> Uh, Zashel, this close to Lucky, um, you see that there is uh, lightning arcing between her fingers and electricity sparking through her eyes. There's like an empty expression of, um, you've seen, you, very rarely has she ever been like frightened, um, but there's like even like a an absence of fear, just um, loss, emptiness that is filling her right now the depths of her uh uh like chest and throat glow uh with light of a tempest uh she is something different at this time um i'm not saying she's not a willing target i'm just letting you know what you what you what you see uh where do you take her uh i will take her to the back of the decoy Okay. Just this far corner, as far from everyone as I possibly can get us. And All right. set her down on the deck. All right. She's um, still going supernova. Uh, there is still certainly something very unusual as, um, like this chain of lightning from the sky still seems anchored to her and uh focuses through her and blasts uh uh this sailor over here which will also hit Vestra the uh the mage and right. I, I just wanted to bonus action mm -hmm. hit, hit hit that guy with my crown of stars, crown of stars. okay Sorry. was the same guy the yeah the the Big Excellent water critter. Okay. That's a twenty. That's a twenty. Mm -hmm. For ignore the two because uh, he's <laughs> at a range of spirit shroud, but it's still thirty six radiant. Yes. Huge. Look at those okay. rolls. D twelve. Yeah. Okay. Whatever I play next, whatever next, a barbarian <laughs> with a great weapon. Great axe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, kick ass. Um. Uh, then, as I as I said, uh, lightning charges through Lachlan and hits uh, everything in this area here. So Vestra and Betty and uh, two NPCs. Uh, deck saves from you deck two. Saves. Okay. Uh, Betty's in my horror. Oh, I don't know that. Is that a disadvantage because of the fear? I do um, not believe so. Yeah, okay. it is not. Not saves. Okay, so that's at 28. <laughs> the little robot got moved. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That is saves for the both of you. Um, that is 13 points of... Oh, sorry. 13 halved to 6 uh, lightning damage. For both of you. And then you were the only one who failed. My lightning damage is slowly, slowly lessening. Okay, Scrivener. <laughs> uh, Zashel's all the way over there. Uh, 
Yeah, I will. Uh, uh, should be fine. I'm going to take a step this way. I'm going to, as a bonus action, do hidden step. So I hold okay. my breath and I go invisible. And uh, I then run and jump across, <laughs> jump across over to here. You are invisible, but there is a thud as your 300-pound form makes impact on the deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's not about them. <laughs> they, they know. They can know. <laughs> it's not the one behind me. That's more of a concern. Uh, as I hit, I will cast uh, Spirit Guardians. So, like, as I, like, go from invisible to visible, uh, the fucking ring wraiths just pour out from around me. Awesome. Um, Hell yeah. The, as, as a legendary action, this beast surges over the wreck wrecking ship of the turtle shell and, uh, And then begins its onslaught on the decoy. Okay. I guess it, it'll enter into my thing. Yeah. I yeah. Pretty low, but. Eh, I rolled okay, I guess. Yeah, let me put up the circle. You would think I would know this by heart by now, but it's math. I never do. <laughs> it's, it's math. I got nothing. There. I'll make it a better color. Yes, please. Oh my god, oh, look, can't see that was, at all. It was this color for grayscale land, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh, no, it, it worked before. Water world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, on there. her turn, uh, Bernadette Crowell, pistol in one hand and saber in the other, uh, begins crossing the deck very quickly uh, to the stern, uh, shouting, get your snake hands off of her, uh, and is going to get quite violent. Um, uh, let's see. Her uh, speed reduces by 10 when she gets near me. Oh, uh, that is... It, it won't matter, but... Trap, yeah. Oh, it's good to know. Uh, she just has... Oh, no, has... it's only if they start their turn. I apologize. Oh, okay. She has a... She moves fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Wow. Okay. Uh, a 17 and a mm -hmm. 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two <laughs> not very, Not very good rolls. Oh, that's um, the damage rolls. She's flustered. No those, no, those were attack rolls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's flustered. Uh, and then Wait, an 18 the with her pistol. The, the 12 hits, yes. God, what about the armor? <laughs> Okay, so their armor would have helped. I fully admit that. <laughs> the armor. The, armor. the first uh, slash across the chest does 28 points of piercing damage. Okay, hold, uh, on, hold on. Hold on. No, okay. Still got it. <laughs> the uh, next, uh, the next drive of her blade into you. Uh, does seven piercing and then you are blasted into the shoulder with uh, her pistol at point blank for ten piercing damage. Okay, so that is two more con saves, DC ten to keep spirit shroud. Yes, and no, I will use an inspiration. Come on, spirit shroud, stay up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no spell slots left, so I need that to stay up. All right, Vestra. Um, I check in with my boy, see how he's doing. <laughs> how are things? Uh, water up to the knees, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he can swim out now <laughs> yeah glorious I, I tell him to, to sw swim out um, uh, you, you move him I don't know where he will be so you, you I'll can put move him, him here yeah. is where he can uh, is out and then then you know yeah cool 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 cool, cool. Um, he doesn't have a swim speed he's he's a he's a warg <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, a little uh, warg doggy paddle 
Well, yeah. Little... <laughs> um, uh, is this creature like affecting us in any way that it's like here? Uh, say that one more time. Like, is, is it being in our space or us being in its space? Like, is it affecting us in any way? Uh, not if you swim and breathe underwater. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can but do both. Otherwise, uh... Uh, otherwise, it's a problem. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, uh, I will say in the mind space, um, uh, uh, I'll look to Noel and like focus my uh, uh, mind just to his alone, um, and say, Scrivener, keep you up safe, and uh, I'm gonna cast a uh, misty step to uh like disappear from the the water um and i am going to appear over to here um that's my 30 right yes um and then uh i will run up the steps and then bring the scythe up with a twirl and like slash up uh bernadette's back okay um okay come on 19 or 20 <laughs> oh. Okay. You just gotta Jesus. ask for it sometimes. Um, okay. This is for I, uh, the the good boy Nat one. <laughs> yeah, these this is uh, Urix is uh, helping me. He's with me in spirit. <clears throat> yeah. um, he's with me in spirit. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna love that smite. one on the extra die roll though. <laughs> I know it's very nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna smite. It's third level. Um, so it's 19, and then um, we, we roll again. What? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, because yes. yeah, I'm smiting onto it. Nice. Okay. Um, that's yeah, 19, money. 20, uh, what was that? 33, 46, uh, 50, 60. Yes. Whew. Oh, um, plus five from Hexblade's Curse. Yeah. Okay. Fucking paladins. Okay. I did all that math separately. I don't know the total, but it was it was terrible. <laughs> it's probably not not good for her. <clears throat> um uh, a slice of the back and then um uh, uh, as I'm uh pulling um the the scythe back to get um uh ready, I uh, I say to her, "My name is Vestra Cardin, Doomblade of Kelimvor. It's nice to meet you." Um and uh, I'm gonna hook the scythe like on the bat, like around the front of her neck, and then boot her in her ass to like shove her head towards it. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. It's uh, oh, not a 19. Um, uh, but it'd be um, 19 damage, and I still have I have some second level spell slots, so I will God. smite once more. Um, not the extra five, so 19 yep. and 19. 37? Yikes. Jesus. Okay. Paladins. That <laughs> is, um, ruinous to her mortal form. Um, for oh, now. I, I gained huh. five at 10 HP at the start of my turn. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see. Uh, that's bonus action, action movement. That's my turn. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't want to forget that line. Oh, fuck. It's going to be so far away. Uh, I'm using a legendary action to crush some of you. Um, Noel. Mm -hmm. Uh, the weight of the Leviathan comes down upon you with a 27 to hit. Yep. For... 11 bludgeoning and 7 acid damage. Okay. Eleven bludgeoning, seven and it is Yop's turn. Okay. Uh, let me add my hit point and my 5 temporary hit points. <laughs> it's all going to make a difference. Yeah, got to yeah, keep that one up. Yes, it will. Yeah. Um, and... Yob's just gonna uh, squeeze that warhammer tight, and at the spellcaster, uh, swing away. Oh, that's gonna hit. 
Ooh, okay. All right, and there's another one. Mm hmm And... Oh, how do you do this? Okay. Um, the We'll say the first shot is sort of an uppercut that catches them at the knees and drops them down a little bit. And then having made that uppercut swing, the warhammer's up high, and I bring it down hard on the side of their head and just like a can of tomato soup, pop that thing open. Oh, oh. my God. <sighs> okay. Uh, and... Let me see what I want to do with Betty. I guess Betty will attack our friend right there. Actually, let me just make one check on something. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, no. And that is it. Okay. Oh, it's Vicarius' turn. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, hiya. <laughs> um, all right. Not a ton I can do here since I can't get closer to any of you, so sorry for that. Um, I'm definitely flying at this point, though, <laughs> as, <laughs> as the ship sinks beneath me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this will be at the end of my turn, but although I never put any tokens down, the the things were the objects were always right there at the edge fighting him. So mm -hmm. measuring that out on their turn at the end of my turn, they should be able to reach him um, and attack. Um, but I will turn to the rest of the sinking ship, um, grab some more golden threads, <laughs> um, and put together what um, crudely looks like a, a makeshift Vicaris. <laughs> oh, <laughs> using my my animating performance. Actually, wait, I have to move closer because um, he, they don't have a flying speed. I don't, oh, no, wait, yeah, my animating performance stuff does have a flying speed. Yeah. Okay. Um, just turn to it like, okay, we're not afraid. We are not afraid. We're not afraid. <laughs> uh, and my wooden self will go and run to fight that guy <laughs> while I <laughs> go and run to fight the other one. <laughs> Um, yep, I'm going to stand on their body because <laughs> I can't get any closer to that and I don't want to, I can't waste a teleport because I already used all my actions and bonuses um, cool, let's get these hits out the way alright, I have my Baja Blast is the first one that's hitting I mean pseudo Vicaris is hitting big thing for 22 mm-hmm that's 11 force damage. Mm -hmm. uh, medium object. It's going to hit for 16. Miss. Yeah, it was three. <laughs> uh, then two large objects. Uh, 11 and 25. 25 hit. That last one's put in work. The rest of them are put in Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the other two are doing. Um, and that'll be my turn. Okay. I cannot tell if this mage is in my circle, but I suspect she's on just on the outside of it. Only you could see with your god's eyes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's fifteen. I think foot it is. Sphere, right? Yes, I think I think she is. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. looks like she is. Okay, that's a wisdom save. Damn it. Uh, the, uh, roll 19. Nice. So half that. Okay. Um, and... It's gonna be a con save for concentration. Oh, damn. She lost it. Oh, she lost it. God damn. Lost concentration on... Sunbeam? Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> Oh, sucks for me. Uh, <laughs> that means I have to think about what it's what she's gonna do. God damn, it sucks. 
Uh, oh, she can move. Um, we'll do that first. Uh, and hurl fire at Vicaris. Yeah. <laughs> A 27 to hit. Oh, yeah. For 22 oh, fire damage. Let me roll for my last guy. Come on. Nope, that won't do it. <laughs> uh, and then you said 27? 27 to hit, 22 fire. And then two fire, so 11 is my thing. Ooh, I'll do that math in a second. Let me just roll this con. Uh, cool, I saved it. Mm -hmm. Cool. God damn it, that was a plus. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Awesome. Uh, cool. <laughs> Can Betty get uh, an opportunity attack? Yes, yes. I couldn't actually see her token from where I was sitting. All right, 10 points of force damage. Is Betty still afraid? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Oh, oh shoot, that reminds me. I forgot to do it, too. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Yop, mm -hmm. uh, the, the soldiers fighting you have rolled uh they're rolling at are they currently rolling at disadvantage still yep okay my highest roll then is a 22 shield <laughs> okay and great is that guy rolling more than once uh no okay yep uh and then i'm attacking vicaris with the one who has charged and dove off the deck uh into him uh one two Three. Oh no, come on, roll 20. Keep up. There we go. 19, 25, and 15 to hit Vicaris. Um, I'll put one of those, and looks like let's see if any of them can miss me. Nope. <laughs> I'll take the first two hits. Uh, um, that is 14 and 11 slashing damage. 25? Yes. Cool. And then, oh boy, who are we killing? Uh, we're going to uh, swipe the tail up onto the deck um, uh, and strike the druid, actually. Um, and then bear down on... What is your name? Null? Null. Uh, 22 to hit you, Null? Yep. That is 15 bludgeoning and 8 acid. And, uh, oh, uh, that is signaling the death of the druid as she is whipped off uh, with, uh, with the end of this tail and thrown against the hull of the turtle shell, cracking into the wood and then sliding into the water uh, with a dull splash. Oh, that's right. That's not what I was going to do this turn. Oh, that'll oh, have to wait then. I forgot the, the all of the uh, big ones, Spirit Guardian. Uh, the, the Swingers. Oh! The Swingers. The Swingers. Um, the one who ran. Yeah, out. yeah. Uh, yeah. That is. Not a problem. That is a fail. Okay. Yeah, Twenty necrotic. I also, I guess for I'll do a separate damage roll for the the uh the big friend. Uh, friend. I try to do it only. I try to have you only roll okay. once per round. That's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, the other two have to roll wisdom saves as well, and they both fail. And wisdom save it's good at those but it yeah. rolled kind of poor that's still a 19. yep jesus why is this guy's health so good 
Uh oh. <laughs> All right, Zashel, it is your turn. Zashel is still sort of kneeling on the deck, having set Lucky down. Uh, does not really even turn to look at Bernadette and just says, I pulled her out of that thing. Look around you. Your whole crew is done. You're useless to her. And I am casting Mental Prison, Bernadette. Her face pales, uh, and the pistol at your chest uh, drops in her weakened hand. The grays in her hair seem to multiply before your eyes, and her eyes dull instantly and she sways on her feet the sure-footedness of a very practiced sailor falter and she drops to her knees no longer looking at you or anything and she drops dead <laughs> Zatchel knows she has fallen over is not truly aware that she is dead so he will just brush some hair out of Lucky's face uh, uh, um, give <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to be hard to recover from uh, <laughs> savage <mind. laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Zashel will uh, uh, just plant a, a small kiss on Lucky's forehead and then stand up and turn around and uh, I, I will he's just going to uh, move a little bit and then I'm going to use a bonus action to launch a uh, uh, crown of stars bolt at that thing. I'm on big twelves. I got I I do have to hit first. <laughs> yeah. Big twenty. Wow. Uh huh. Uh, ignore the ten. It is just the thirty-five. Jesus <laughs> Christ! I'm telling you guys. Fuck. <laughs> Great axe. What the fuck? Is my next. <laughs> Holy shit! Zashel's redemption. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my god. He's gonna single handedly take down this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, another flare of lightning focused through Lachlan uh shoots through Vestra. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Two. Got it. Uh Nat 20 for 33. Hey, that's twelve points of lightning damage. That's the halved is twelve. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't like it. Main. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit. I'm still well within its range. I'm just <laughs> yes. walking on top of corpses. I don't think point. you've ever technically left its range. No, I certainly haven't. Uh, I will cast uh, as my so yeah as my action centered in the middle of the boat so I can hit everyone. I'm going to cast Mass Cure Wound. Whoa, where'd you go? Did you I'm move into a token space? Just south yeah, of Betty. I'm, I'm standing on a corpse. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have sidled over a corpse. It is little. That's fine. Mass Cure Wound. I will throw a D10 on top of that. Uh, I'm getting everybody and Lucky this time. 
Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, not as good as it ever has been. But hey, every little bit helps. No, that's a huge deal. It sure does. <laughs> 65 plus 24. 24. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's what I got. That's my move action. Okay. Uh, Vestra. Um, does it look like Lucky has registered that her um, the captain is dead? She does not appear to be mentally present at all. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, I share, like, I look down at the captain's body, I look at um, uh, I, 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 I catch uh, Z- Zashel's eye and I, gi- I give him a nod, and um, I, I quickly turn, uh, hop onto the one, like one foot on the edge of this railing, and then leap um, towards this dude, mm-hmm. um, and uh, bring the bring the scythe down. Um, uh, okay, twenty six to hit for just the eleven, um, mm-hmm. but I also gain ten HP because the captain died. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Also, your yeah. five temp for your hero. And my N five temp. Hey, you know what? Living good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Blessed. Um, uh, okay. Uh, one more scythe attack at this guy. It's just the eleven, right? Yeah, just the eleven damage. Yeah. Um. So right. uh, nineteen to hit for um another eleven. Yes. Uh, sick. And I'll use my uh, movement to kind of just like uh, 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 sidestep around to try to draw some of his ire this way. Um, and that is. Yep, because I can't do the other thing. Um, that is my turn. Um, I will tell Urex. Um, uh, um, uh, well, Ur- Urex is. He's fully sentient and he's doing the best he can. Um, yeah. On his turn, um, uh, he's gonna swim. Um, uh, his movement can get him to. Uh, he can get to there, and then he'll make a dash action. He's like getting up to them as the survivors, and like present like he's trying to like show them like you can get on my back and I will help. Like you know, I'm gonna help. Oh, save they you. they have they have dinghies and stuff. Oh, They're, sick. Yeah, He's yeah. attempting to get on the diggy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. It, it, it went straight from, like, oh, you can get on my back. I can help you, to, holy shit, you've got to, do, like, let me in there. <laughs> this water's awful. Uh, um, I'll, uh, I'll roll his wisdom. Come on, Nat 20, big boy. It's an 18. Best he can do. So close. No cigar. Yep. Um, I say that, so close. I don't think he actually can make this wisdom save now that I'm looking at his numbers. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think he, he could either. Um that is my and his turns. Okay. Uh I'm gonna use a legendary action to crush Noel, who is uh, a fountain of ghosts. Do thirty three to hit. 18 bludgeoning, 8 acid. Okay. Right back down to where I was. Are you still spitting ghosts? Yep, I'm... Uh, hold on, I gotta do the save. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I couldn't see the bubble anymore, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's under the boat now. Oh. That's the problem. The boat is a butt is... Is it went under the boat. Wherever it is. I don't think it's under the boat. I think it just might be too light colored. <laughs> it does go under the, the boat. Like our aura oh. effects. Oh, because it's a token. The, yeah. Oh, well, it made hold it on. More hold aggressively on. Colored. I can just, I can just, mm-hmm. I can just. Because I tried making mine a different Damn color. It. And I was like, oh, that's what, that's why it's happening like that. It's fine. Because we, we can just measure from ourselves. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I'll roll the for this round as well. Aha. Uh-huh. This boat's not moving anymore. I don't need it to be on the token layer. <laughs> Ugh, bad damage for this round. Who will? Uh, yup. All right. Uh, 
Yop is breathing heavy and has just crushed the skull of a druid and sort of looks at a uh, big a lady, I believe you said. Uh, big Lady A. Whole, whole crew on this ship is all women. Right, and Big Lady B <laughs> and sort of rolls her shoulders and it's sort of half rolling her shoulders and half a shrug and then looks over her shoulder and sees this big water elemental and just takes a couple swings. <laughs> uh, still at the, at the uh, crew members, right? Uh, no, this is at the water elemental. Oh, okay, okay, just make it Okay, yeah, yeah, that hits. Okay, uh, and I am going to, in addition to that, I am going to use my Arcane Jolt, which I don't know where the hell it is, but it's 2d6. That's Radiant Damage, I believe. Um... And I think it's force my, damage. Uh, yeah, force damage. You're correct. Okay. Uh, and then another swing. Mm hmm. And then. Yeah, I don't know, Betty. See what you can do about this fucking thing. Um, <laughs> Which is about right, because Betty's still scared, and I believe Betty will always be scared, but I'll yeah. give it a shot anyway. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't th yeah, she doesn't have the skill to get it. Yeah. <sighs> so that is that. Okay. Vakaris? Uh, he's going to turn to the guy that just wailed on him <laughs> and say, I think it's fair to say we both made a mistake here. Uh, my mistake was coming over here by myself. Your your mistake was thinking I would stay that way. Uh, he's going to tap his chest again, uh, bringing out his two other besties. Um, and then with the pull of the golden thread, he's going to turn the object's attention onto this guy right here. <laughs> and... Uh, um, um, unfortunately, because of that, my my little uh, my little pseudo me is not going to be able to attack this turn. He's just dodging. But the other guys will get three attacks on this bitch. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to take an attack of opportunity against one of them. Oh, go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 35 to hit. <laughs> just misses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, 20 so bludgeoning and 5 acid damage to one of the large ones. One of the large ones. I'll put it as L1. Um, so 25 total, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. Medium first. 12. <laughs> Great job, medium. Really doing the <laughs> work out here. <laughs> all right. Those 20 two and 25. Hits. 29 damage total. Not mad about that. Oh, actually, that crushes her skull, uh, battered to death by the boards of the ship. I meant to say your last mistake, um, and now that he, they died, I'm really upset about it. <laughs> Vicar says all that he out says loud. says it right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and that would, no, wait, I can't inspire this round. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't move any closer, so there's no reason for me to move at all. All right. Uh, I'm going to move a corpse. Ooh, and I'm gonna of make... wisdom saves. Come on, me. <laughs> uh, uh, I have one save against um, uh, the ghost. Seven, seven or fourteen. Okay. Uh, if and that then... friend is going to attack uh, Noel, the first one will be a disadvantage. Excellent. That is exactly what is happening. At disadvantage, as an at one, and then the second attack is an at twenty. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, I can at least sentinel it. Okay. So I don't get completely crushed. 
Uh, that is uh, only 10 slashing, and then a 14 to hit as well. Okay, 14 will miss. Okay, so 10 slashing for that attack, and then the con save. Uh, and then one attack towards Yop with a 21. Uh, shield. Okay. Oh, oh, I remembered what I was going to do last turn. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There is a lurch as the ship is heaved from below. And a gargantuan surge of water that runs as long as you can see picks up and hurls itself over the surface of the ship. Uh, I need literally everyone to make a 24 strength saving throw. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna make that. <laughs> it is technically possible for me to succeed. Where is Vestra at the moment? <laughs> um not near you. <laughs> not near enough. Still I'm near technically yeah. possible. Okay. Right, I'm I'm gonna start burning through inspiration here, Max. <laughs> I'm also gonna burn inspiration. Not that I'm gonna make it. But... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huge. I'm just gonna uh, let it ride. I'm a good swimmer. <laughs> um, okay. It took me two inspiration and a flash of genius, but I got a 26. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my inspiration from Vicaris. I need a nine or a ten to to beat it. Oh, you son oh. of a bitch. Oh. No, but you do get eight temporary hit points. <laughs> okay, I like it. Oh, hooray. <laughs> Replaces the five, big. As it's about oh. to go away. <laughs> um, as this tidal wave comes careening across this vessel and pulls the two ships apart capsizing the turtle shell behind you as it swallows water and begins to sink this other vessel pitching so violently that you are almost all thrown um let's see uh dc 24 anyone who saved will take half of 28 points of bludgeoning damage and those who have failed will take full um, let's see, uh, do, 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 I'm going to use mine sliver to maintain mine sharpener, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> uh, you don't have mine sharpener because you have the, okay, well. you have the boots of flying. Oh, you took it. Okay, cool. In that case, inspiration. That's one below, right? Yeah. Yeah. One if more. You didn't, if you didn't save. <laughs> there it there is. There you go. <laughs> Betty is down. Okay. And it is... Ashel's turn. Are we are we proned or moved or anything? Um, I am checking. So, uh, you are. This is phrased very weird, and I don't agree with it. So I'm going to go with my own ruling for this. Um, anyone who has failed, <laughs> that sucks, is moved fifty feet away, pushed back fifty feet. Do my objects feet. also have to make yep. a save? They do, so, right? All of your objects? Yes. Can we just say they all failed? Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, <cool. laughs> I don't think they'll make it if they could. <laughs> um, um, L1 is down. I still got L2 and M. Yop, I've been hanging on to this heroism. You're not afraid, my girl. 
Uh, it's, it's pulling big weight. I mean, it's been, it's been, it's been doing work. Who didn't get washed over? Zashel, incredibly. Yeah, <laughs> and I believe Yop. Yeah. 2530. Uh, Zashel's going to move in. Uh, pulling pu- pulling uh, the, 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 the gloves up, dusting himself off, and just whipping uh, blast after blast after blast at this thing. I will start with the bonus action Crown of Stars hit. Or a 30 to hit. Well, 26 to hit. Cause... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I want to double check. Vakaris, what was your final save for strength? Oh, was yeah. No, I, I absolutely failed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're back here, too. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, a 30 will hit. Yes. Oh, actually, actually sorry. It's 26. It's actually 26. Yeah, it took the bless <laughs> off. L- lucky is gone. <laughs> uh, so that is the full 28 this time. My spirit shroud coming in clutch with uh, three. Oh, eight. wait. Sorry, I was next to Vestra, so that should be fine, right? That's 24. Uh, you, you would have my plus five to all your stuff. Uh, oh, fuck, I gotta find you again. So, you, well, you rolled yeah. the ni- 19, yes, 19. Yes, 19 plus yep. five you're 25. 24. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Ooh, let me get them points back. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is 28 uh, radiant damage. I'm actually going to go ahead and finally add... Um, uh, 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 my radiant soul five extra damage to uh, to that from the crown of stars. Oh my god! Actually, I'm going to do another five from the spirit shroud, so it's yeah. it's ten extra damage. Yeah. yeah. So that's thirty eight from the crown of stars. Oh wait, sorry. Is it ten? I thought it was only once per. It's once per spell, but I have two different okay. spells going yes. on. Yes, I knew. It doesn't yes. take okay. anything. Excellent. Okay. All right. And then, as my action, I will lay in with Eldritch Blast. I have taken Bless off. That is a 24 to hit. A 28 to hit. And a 17 to hit. Here we go. Big rolls. Big rolls. Yeah, all of those hit. Uh, each, I am within 10 feet. Uh, I mm-hmm. closed in to get the Spirit Shroud damage. So mm-hmm. that is 15 on the first one. Okay. Uh, 16 on the second one for 31 31 total and another 19 for 50 damage. Oh my god. Burst after burst of golden light are blasting and spraying this beast into uh, into mist, into its misty form. Uh, It calls again and its shriek echoes from where Lucky is uh, sinking below the surface distantly. Um, It is uh, severely, severely handicapped at this point. Um, uh, Holy fuck, dude. (laughs) Action surge. (laughs) 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 Okay. That's it. That's all my movement, my action, and my bonus action. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. Let's see. Let's do a die roll. Where's my die roll? Okay. Uh. Noel, I need you to do a dexterity saving throw from an errant bolt of lightning. Plus nothing. Yeah. Uh, that is nine points of lightning damage to you. And then your turn. Yeah. Okay. So Lucky is currently sinking, right? Yes. And so is Betty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull the cloak and the manta ray over my head as an action. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what the range. The swim speed, sixty. No, I'm. Yes. I'm oh. doing range on spells. Mm. Okay. Oh, con save for your spirits. Yeah, it's gonna. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hit Mass Cure Wounds. Or Mass Healing Word, rather. The other one. Uh, everything within 60 feet that I can see. Yup, it's just barely. Oh! It's just fucking barely. So yeah, I'm gonna upcast that. Level 4. Heck yeah, 13. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, plus 13, and then I'm going to swim as quickly, which is very quickly as I can, over to Lucky. I can actually kind of make it to near where she is. Okay. And was Lucky sinking because she was unconscious? and? She like... just appears to be... I mean, you saw her up close, effectively incapacitated. Okay, yeah, okay. Where are you, Zashel? The uh, yes I'm up would by be. the thing. Okay, I just didn't and know. Vic would be as too. Yeah. Yes. Zasha, where are you? Uh, yeah, I, I am know under a corpse, two spaces uh, to the. This you? There yeah, you that's are. me. I'm on the back. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> moving bodies. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vestra. <clears throat> um. Okay. Um. Uh, I, Noel has done his things. I'm very far from the boat. Um, I just, uh, the, it's still like stormy sky and everything, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, cool. It, it um, is, there is, the the thundering, uh, the thundering storm has come to rain as well. Hell yeah. Um, I put a, a hand over the uh, scales on my chest and say, well, I think I've done about as much as I can. I think it's up to them for right now. And um, I'm going to go teleport away. <laughs> yeah, we can teleport away. Cast <laughs> teleport. You didn't know I had it. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to swim to grab Betty because um, uh, I know that in inside Betty is a whole bunch of stuff that is uh, irreplaceable. <laughs> um, Correct. Yep. So suck um, that turtle shell just uh, vanished forever. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab Betty. Um, uh and um uh yeah i'll grab betty and then i have um a little bit of movement left um it, it, betty is no long like it, am i halved speed or full speed because betty is on un, like unconscious and is like parts now halved. halved okay even though i can hold her weight like it's not i'm not grappling a thing yeah yeah carrying an unconscious body still is half weight Okay. Or half movement. Oh, so now she's a person. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, I will. Um, uh, I have time. I, I can move her up a bit more. Um, and uh, I don't gain. Oh, I gained five HP because my spell is still functioning. Um, I. Ooh. Ooh. Although. Do do I do hold on? What's and it's I'm at this and then uh it's gonna be a lot of a lot of that's that's a lot of a lot of work. Um uh how difficult would it be to like try to climb the side of the boat while also holding like carrying literally that? impossible. Okay. It's, she, it's, she has it's a four hundred pounds shell. Fifteen hold feet. It to she's her. very heavy. You'd need your arms to climb. There is nothing to climb. It cannot be done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, her her weight is not a, an issue for me, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's the other factors. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I I had a way to get to the ship and then begin moving up, but that's um that's a uh, that's uh that's a uh, okay um that that's my turn um i grab her is it an action to grab her and begin moving no okay then uh, I'll, um, I'll say in this instance no usually okay. yes not now okay then um i will um i was here when i got to her 
Um, uh, here is the movement, and then I can take a dash to get to the bottom of the boat. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well, that's my turn. Oh, Urx really? realizes that he's probably too big for the thing and just uh, kind of like swim, swims around and is like nuzzling, smelling for food. <laughs> nice. Right. Um, Yop is suddenly uh, filled with the spray from Zashel just destroying this fucking thing and uh, will haul off and take a couple swings. Okay. Well, that's going to hit. And I'll use another Arcane Jolt. <clears throat> and I will take another swing. Mm -hmm. 19 to hit. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. It's so close. <laughs> And that is it. Okay. Uh, Vakaris? Almost forgot my one hit point. <laughs> and your five ten. And my five, five yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, commanding my guy to hit him, which means I also get to inspire... Um, turning to Noel and seeing him out there with Lucky. Uh, we still got this, right? <laughs> um, still <laughs> very afraid. On, you hear a grunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I guess for mine, uh, Chaos Bolt. Fuck it. That's the only plastic spell I have. Uh, at, at the dude or the Levi Leviathan? Who's the dude? There's a dude that's been beating on Yap. There's two dudes There's two of them. beating yeah. on yeah. Yap. <laughs> nah, fuck them dudes. But Yap two, got it. I, I, two I women. trust her. <laughs> There's a chance it'll spark off. It, it's, it's fine. <laughs> uh, let's do this at third, since I never use those third level spell slots. <laughs> You've had third level spell slots this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of spells. <laughs> what kind of damage are we dealing? Spells. That's a great question. Um, thank you for asking. Uh, it's a three or an eight, uh, which means it's fire or thunder. God damn it! <laughs> um, ah. We'll do fire again. That fire's been doing damage, right? Just not great. Uh huh. All right, we'll do fire. Okay. Wait, let me try. You know what? No, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice here. Let me try thunder. Uh, okay. It surges through its body. Uh, it is a <laughs> tempest itself. <laughs> yeah. Figured. <laughs> We're gonna try. Yeah, it it regains hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, and then my guy gets to hit. Ah. Command Baha. Ooh, seven force damage. Oh, okay. Okay. Baha the hero. <laughs> it is currently a wooden Vicaris, to be clear, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can call him pseudo Vicaris. It's fucking swashbuckling and flying around <laughs> in the European style. <laughs> I got no <laughs> oh, strings. Over in the back, power ring. <laughs> All right. I'm keeping Tyler up, but I feel so bad about it. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um. All right. Uh, yup. These two, uh, continue battering you with swords. Twenty-seven. Wait. Are you? Are they still at disadvantage? Still at disadvantage, and this okay. guy's still cursed. Yep. Okay. Uh, none of those will hit. Um. And then the Leviathan, uh, let's see, tail hits Vicaris <laughs> with a 32 to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> for a total of 20 points of damage, 17 bludgeoning, 3 acid. 
Ooh, so since he hit me, is that te- that means I, I still get to roll, right? What? For my other guy. Your... <laughs> of course, the fucking natural. <laughs> Your image passed earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Autumn jumps in front. <laughs> okay, all right. Turned into mist uh, of uh, flowers. Uh, 21 to hit Zashel. Yep. Uh, for... That is uh, 12 bludgeoning, 6 acid. So 18 damage. And then it is your turn. I keep my spirit shroud. Uh, We will go ahead and start with the Eldritch Blast, I think. Okay. Uh, He is just shouting all the while to (gasps) let her go. I just did. I just close Discord. No, I just minimized it. Uh, well, that's yep. I got, I got an inspiration for you. Uh, I have one I could use. Yeah, I'll use mine. Uh, okay. But Twenty-seven instead. Huh. Um, uh-huh. Get get out of her mind. That's twenty-nine. <laughs> Leave us in peace. That's only a sixteen. <laughs> Uh, those first two hit. Uh, for 17 and 13, so 30 points of radiant damage. Mm-hmm. And if it's still alive, I will hit it with the crown of stars. Uh, this is the fourth bolt, uh, the fourth feather, rather, out of the, the crown surrounding his head, so the, the glowing iridescent light uh, dims considerably. You're trending lower. Oh shoot! As as the um the the, <laughs> the moat from the stars uh strikes into the same place as the uh the blasts have been hitting. There is just a uh one of those like anime explosion things where the light ball sort of just grows and grows and grows until this whole elemental is suffused in iridescence and then just dissolves, just sublimates almost and vaporizes instantly into uh, sparkly purple and red and blue particles that fade away. The skies and the oceans slowly, slowly subside as the form of this beast dissipates into the water from whence it was made. The surface rippling out from these two horrifically damaged, irreparably damaged ships. Um, The last two remaining pirate crew members uh, who fight uh, are quickly put down and combat ends. I die for lucky. Yeah, you've got her, don't worry. Is the chain of lightning still connected? When the clouds part and the gray winter sun begins to shine just enough so that you no longer feel the presence of the battering weather her eyes clear and she gathers her senses sort of clutching her head uh very drowsy and and confused uh and certainly surprised to be underwater but her gills yeah. flare uh i will cast detect magic with Furbolg just to to assess like the sky above her, or the water above her, rather, from where we are. Um. Her. Yeah. Uh. I. I think. I, I, you, you detect nothing remaining. Okay. Just the remnants of it slowly dissipating. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've got like a hold of Lucky, <laughs> just sort of swimming with like the cloak <laughs> down over my face, <laughs> in mental, uh, like telepathic bond, just. Yeah. 
<laughs> I um, didn't answer anything, but thanks. Shocked of us several times. Just for mechanical purposes, uh, Yop will dive in the water, uh, cast uh, Spider Climb, and the shield will <gasps> lift Betty up onto the <laughs> deck. <laughs> And then we'll cast Spider Climb again for herself, and the shield will crawl back down, and she'll take a shield elevator up onto the ship. Real quick. I love that, because you could have used rope. <laughs> yeah, I will power yeah, my plan. Back, back to the boat, uh, and then, like, surface just holding her above the water. <laughs> uh, hold, hold on. Um, and she... As, as she has before, like, put her hands out to, like, summon the current under weight and, and like, lift the two of you, but there is no movement. Uh, trying to do something, or... Uh, this is, usually works. Um, uh, and she... Strongly and I will push you up there. You jump. Um, Bakaris will throw down a rope. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, this may not be the most appropriate time to ask this question, but is this boat Oz now? <laughs> uh, legally, is that how yes. Works? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to uh, I call Eryx to me. We We meet at the back of the boat. <laughs> Um, uh, as he's doggy paddling, I, I, uh, um, grab hold of the, his back to, to mount him. This armor's very heavy to swim in. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, boy. We'll, we'll get you out of here. I um, hate this. I hate here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's this with the seahorse, right? Which, what do you want? <laughs> Um, uh, once when I, 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 I mount him and then I will cast Misty Step on myself, which affects him as I'm mounted and we will appear and land on the boat. Okay. I didn't know it affected the both of you. And I was like, well, that's a fucking dick move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as I'm mounted on the steed, self spells affect them. Cool. Yeah. You can actually end up in separate places because it's two different effects of Misty Step mm -hmm. too. Which is what I was going to do before you scared him. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we are going to call it there for tonight. Yeah, Noel's just sort of writhing in pain. Thank <laughs> you.